Hello, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Hello, hello. How y'all doing? We are back in control, Daniel. <laughs> Only a no notification, but no link on the Discord. Ah, oh, that's a that's a streamer moment right there. I mean, sure you made it here. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, you still you found your way here. <laughs> it's fine. Ah, God. But yeah, how are you all doing? Though? I hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, we're getting an extra stream in this week. We're just streaming on Wednesday. Uh, because I just want to play more Pokemon. Uh, I want to play it today. I want to play it tomorrow. I, uh, I think we're going to be at the end come tomorrow. Uh, the time's gone quick, hasn't it? But it's been a very fun two weeks, just kind of working our way through. Uh, we're still going to be doing everything, of course. Uh, to, on, to the goal for today's stream is mostly just to beat the Pokemon League. And then we're going to start chipping away at the post game. And then tomorrow, we're going to do pretty much all the post-game that we can. Uh, it should be a good time. Black and White has, like, an okay-ish post-game. There's, there's, by this, by the metric of other Pokemon games, post-games, it's, like, towards the top now, just because the last few have had nothing. Uh, which is weird. It's, o it's just okay in this one, honestly. Black and White 2 has the, the god tier one that's just, like, so damn good. Um, but we're still going to do it this week, and it should be a good time. Well, highlights go up on channel? Uh, eventually. We're just going to... We're, we're just having fun streaming. Highlights come out when they're ready. Uh, if you want stuff to watch on YouTube, like... There's, like, three hours of video that went up just the other days between James Bond and Outer Wilds. Have fun. And like, there's the entire Heart Gold and lock there as well. Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll come out when they're ready. They, they take time. Thanks to everyone who's subbing as well. Jesus, I haven't even done anything yet. We already watched that, Dan. Watch it again. But ju just leave the video on loop. And you know, when the ads come up on the screen, make sure you click those. That'll increase the enjoyment. No, uh... <laughs> Don't do that. I highly recommend you play Xenoblade 3 in your off time. Uh, I have not got around to it yet. Uh, I'm kind of like trying to... I, I still need to play Definitive Edition on Switch. I, weirdly, I've been trying to finish two in my off time, which is like the the not as good one. <laughs> I would describe it. Um, it's got some fun characters though, at least. I need new content, Dad, and I need it now. I'm sorry. If only there was some kind of live broadcast you could digest right now. Phil, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you very much, as ever. Very kind of you. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's give a bit of intro and prep for the stream. We're gearing on up. Man's going ham with his key there. Uh, here is the team that is set to fight the Pokemon League. Let's have a look at the gang. We got Mistake. We got Calamity. We got Chandelier. We got our Strife. And we have Fear. And they all still have Pokerus, so they're gonna gain a lot of effort values and pretty much be max uh, by the end of today. Because that happened, uh, uh, Pokerus odds are like 1 in 21,000 apparently, uh, which is like, all, like more than twice as rare as a shiny. Uh, which is actually quite remarkable. It doesn't feel as exciting as a shiny, but it's like actually quite a big deal that we got that. Uh, which is wild. So, streamer luck that we got that. 
You got Pokerus by chance. Yes. We got it on yesterday's stream. Uh, someone just pointed it out at one point, and then they all had it. Uh, I also uh, put Pokerus on our, hover our trusty hoverboard, just so we can keep it preserved in the box. Uh, so that way, if we want to transfer Pokerus to something else later, uh, we can do so. It's like kind of safely preserved here, see? So our trusty hoverboard has that there. Oh, I forgot to get the delivery man uh, for today as well. I, I, I'll, I'll get him for tomorrow again. I think there's still like a few gifts he can give. Uh, but yeah, we are gearing up. It's time for the Elite Four. It's the hardest and scariest bit of the run. Uh, it's a fearsome Elite Four in this one. Uh, and then we have the champion and we have pretty much the end of the game. Uh, my goal level-wise is basically just to get everyone to level 50. Uh, because I'll feel quite safe at that point. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's dive on in. Should be a long-ish stream tonight. Let's go. Hi, trainer. Do you have a minute? Just heard this in the cross transceiver. There's a big storm on Route 7. The storm seems to be different from a natural phenomenon. So strange. Oh, this is... Uh, wait, okay, hang on. Hold up. Okay, forget everything I just said. We're gonna get sidetracked for the next three hours. Uh, Tornadus is actually... Uh, the Tornadus event is kicking off. Uh, which I did not think was gonna happen until the post game. Hang on. Let's get our trusty hoverboard. We're gonna need him. Uh, this one, I think, always runs away. I don't think we have to worry about it trying to murder us. Uh, Route 7 is this one. Did you get the Pokemon with Charge from White for the event in the upstairs? Um, so I... Yeah, it has to be specifically one that's caught in white. I actually didn't have any when I was checking my PC, like, a bit before the stream. So I actually have to go out and catch one. So I'll, I'll try to do that by tomorrow. Oh god, yeah, here's the rain. It's, uh, it's looking a little rough. Oh my, the Pokemon has come again, too. And now, child, don't you go heading into the tall grass. The Pokemon might be too much for you. Catch cold standing around talking in this wind and rain. It's not much, but come stay in my home a spell. Weather's getting rough. When a young one like yourself would catch a cold if you get soaked by that cold rain. Sit right down and have some soup, why don't you? That's nice. A young one like you shouldn't be shy. In the Nova region, you see there's a Pokemon called Tornadus that causes windstorms. Flies around the region while letting loose wild winds and pounding rain. Have some soup now, dear. It'll warm you up. Jam-packed with healthy vegetables. It's delicious. Heavy rain is ruining the crops I've worked so hard to raise. What a troublesome Pokemon. Thought I would try to catch it, but it flies around so fast that even when I thought I found it, it just flew away. In one day, it can make a lap around the entire Unova region. In the mornings, it's in the south, and in the evenings, it's in the north. Shows up here in the evenings. Okay, so... Tornadus is now going to be making the rounds about the region. Here it is. Weh. Ooh, what a storm. Apparently it's that Pokemon's doing. There he goes. Uh, so how you know that if, if you're in the same region as him, I believe it'll just start storming and you're supposed to like kind of search and explore and track it down. I don't know if you get the Pokedex entry on this just yet to track it. Let me have a quick old look. 
Hang on. Eh. Stall you list. I don't think you get it yet. Oh no! Wait, no, we might. Area? No, so area unknown, so it doesn't actually show up here. Uh, don't the root build and say uh, what route Tornadus is on? I think they might tell you if there's a storm. Currently it's the morning, so let's see if we go to like the, like the south part of the region. Rusty hoverboard. I think by the south as well, it just means it's like anywhere from here. Uh, it's counting as the south. Uh, but we, we, we can go a little further now just to see if it's ending. Let's have a quick old look. Yeah, on our bike. Coffee, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Glad the degree went well. Thank you very much. Very kind offer of you, but it's all good. Uh, Taurus come... Okay, the, I don't think they're talking about anything there. It's just midday, so I, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to show up at midday on any of the routes. I don't think so. No, it seems to be pretty calm here. Okay, well, let's just go back to the main story then. <laughs> oh, it said Route 5, did it? Oh, hang on. I missed the first bit of the board. It's in the desert, is it? Oh, no, that's not the desert. Route 5. Wine streamer moment. I, I was reading the chat. Yours, it's your guy's fault for being social. You've only yourselves to blame. How could you be so selfish? Does it say it? Route 5, Sunny. <laughs> I don't think it's here. It changes whenever you fly. Oh, okay, let's read the billboard again. Let's see what it says. Route 16, a very unusual strong storm is happening. Okay, that, so that's how it's coming up. Right. Uh, unfortunately, I think Route 16 is a post-game area. Let me just see. Oh, what a stroke of luck. It's that route there. We can just cycle over here. Okay, yeah, so here's the storm, right. I don't think we have anything to fear, so it, it looks dangerous putting Famine out in the lead, but I'm sending out Famine just so I can use Stun Spore. It, it just runs. This functions like a lot of like the other Roman legendaries. I think if I just go in the grass, it might show up. Yeah, I think we found it. There he is! Do we want to just be like, Oh, Pokeball! Again. No, I, I I think we weaken him. I think we get the stun spore on. Because if we stun him, he'll stay stunned. Even as he flees. There we go. So, uh, he he's forever paralyzed. Explore in the world. Is there an event clause? There's no event clause, but like, we're not gonna use this thing even if we catch it, right? You know, like, we're kind of like, uh, yeah, th th this one is like kind of like, this is kind of just an exception to the Nuzlocke rules. There's not even a static encounter or anything. It's just a Roman legendary. 
But, like, we're not going to be using it, so... I say it's honestly fine. And, like, it's also real fucking dangerous for us to chase. What route would that say? Or was that? Route 5 again. Jesus, he likes Nimbasa. He's just circling the poor town. Are you sure it said Route 5? I think he's moved again. Let's see. Route 5, Sunny, and he's gonna be back on Route 16, isn't he? Let's just see. Stop mentioning Charizard. I think he's just gone. Yeah, okay, let's let's just go back over the Route 16, see if he's like kinda come home the roost again. As we go through the gates, it's probably gonna give us updates on where he is. Okay, yeah, no, there's the storm. It is Route 5. I think he's just- he's just fucking with us. <laughs> he's on Route 4 now. Okay, down here. I, I can't- is this just gonna be a sandstorm or is it gonna be the other type of water? No, I don't- I don't think he's here. That's just a sandstorm. What does it say? He, he's back on Route 5! <laughs> he hasn't once been on Route 5 at this point. What's it gonna say? Okay, Route 5, a very unusual strong storm. <laughs> Dude. Dude, what the fuck? There's, there's no storm. Go in the grass, I don't think he's there. It's not there, yeah? <laughs> it's supposed to get windy. So where is he now? <laughs> Route 5! <laughs> My man! <laughs> Where? It, there's no storm! Over the bridge, that's Riffel, that's not Route 5. You can see it if you check on the map, see? Riffel, Route 5. <laughs> I think he's just messing with us. I'd love to catch him and show him off to us. Uh, but I don't know if we'll get the... Yeah, no, he's, he's not here. <laughs> the storm is localized entirely in the truck. We just step inside here. Jesus Christ, it's stormy! <laughs> Thank you. 
He's not here. What's the billboard say? He's back on Route 16. <laughs> Okay, this might be a lost cause to hunt right now. We, we should probably press on with the Elite Four. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone back to Route 5. No, Route 16. Okay, wait, I think I've cracked it. Hang on. He's on Route 16. He's gonna go to Route 5. <laughs> I got him. God damn it. Route 5. It's not the bike. It doesn't make sense if it's the bike. You're allowed to move. He's... He doesn't want to show up. He did it once. He's not scared of the bike. I'm not even on it. Like, this is just not true. Okay. Okay. He's on Route 5, so that means he's gonna move to Route 16, Nick. He's gonna move to Route 16. No, he's gonna be on Route 5. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> God damn it, he's there! He's here! <laughs> Go past the bridge! There's nothing past the bridge! It's Drift Fail City! He's not here. Just do it, please. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. This is so. This is this is pointless. It's absolutely pointless. Feel accomplished? Just try it, just do it! There's nothing there! He's, he's probably- he's gonna be on Route 5 the moment I step inside her. And then he's gonna teleport away. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, we're gonna get him later. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. <laughs> Dan, you only encounter after defeating the Elite Four. No, we literally just encountered it. We paralyzed in battle. Okay, we're gonna just leave it. It's not worth it. We'll, ch we'll check for him later. The thing is, we need to get him to get another legendary in the game. We actually have to get him. Uh, 
Okay. Let's press on. Route 10. And I don't want to fight that trainer just yet because the music's really good. I just want to take it in a I'll get I'll get a wild Pokemon encounter in a sec because we get one for this route. Here's the good bit. Oh, it's so nice. Gotta soak it in. Okay. It's looping now. Banger, banger tune. It's almost no bad music in this entire game. Oh, we finally get our first Scrafty to fight as well. Okay, the, the, these have high jump kick, which is kind of the main scary move. Because that can murder pretty much anything with a crit. Uh, we just want to get uh, to everything to level 50 if we can. By the Elite Four. That, that's our main goal. Oh! Don't do that. Hurts a lot. At least you know Mistake can kind of tank him. Yeah, thank God it's a Mian Fu and not a Mian Xiao. Oh, no. Okay, mistake, you're good. It's just the first battle. It's just the first battle. It's all right. Okay, let's uh, get the milk in. We still have a little bit left. I think one of these is a real Pokemon, but the others are, um... You must not be named. We gotta be careful there. We'll go back and get him after we get an encounter on the room. We have a lot of scary trainers coming up. Uh, is that you kind of get into the point where there's a lot of ace trainers, veterans, and it's all like... But well, mostly fully evolved Pokemon, I guess? There are more fully evolved Pokemon to come. I think the reason they're trainer might even have a, ha a Haxorus or some shit like that. You just gotta be careful. Because, like, they definitely have the potential to start messing you up from here. That's not good. <laughs> Thank God he's stupid. The count on the AI to lead us to victory. I don't think we've seen Electric before, uh, but this is what, uh, this is like the mid stage of Electros. Very solid Pokemon. Uh, I think I should just switch into Calamity because we can resist the. Incoming electric type attack. You can't use Earthquake on it because it actually has Levitate. Electric is forgotten. Honestly, it's like like the mid -ev tier, ev like the mid stage evolutions in like Gen Five. I, I struggled to remember them all. Most mid stage evolutions, I kind of forget they exist. You don't spend much time with them. Like, this guy's purpose in life is to use a, thund a Thunderstone on him and evolve him, you know? Selgor as well. Okay, this guy's stupid fast. But he's very frail. 
Good to know they have Giga Drain as well, just for mistake's sake. Heart is not broken. I'll survive further fierce battles with my Pokemon. I'll become much stronger. Full cool story. Let's heal up. We're gonna have to do this pretty much most fights from here on out. Keep ourselves healthy. Goron, thank you for 500 bits. Thank you very much. Well, the entire Nuzlocke Fosby posted to the VOD channel? Uh, they already have been. They're, they're making their way over there. Oh, it's the cactus. Get you in for fire. They take time. I think the the latest one might not be up because it just takes time to go through sometimes. Uh, but like they they do all eventually make their way there. You can always watch them on the Twitch channel itself uh, after the stream. Easiest way to get a hold of them. Yeah, it's actually gonna start racking up a lot of damage because that's the toxic one too. But we are gonna switch. I just want to drop a thunder on this and watch it, like, kind of evaporate. It'd be nice if a Rack just had an evolution. Yeah. It kind of needs one. Oh, okay. Alright, uh... Gotta, gotta wait for the party trick to resolve itself. There we go. And a thunder from... Oh! Come on! Why we need the wide lens if we can find it. It gets 100% accuracy. Mostly accurate. Mostly. Okay, cryogonal. Uh, I think we just do a safety switch. Yeah. Just in case. Because I, th this thing is faster than us. Flash cannon of all things. Yeah, we can just go for revenge. We're, we're always <laughs> okay. I don't even know why it's got that. But good effort. I remember when you're a kid, like when you're a kid playing Pokemon, it's like, oh no, he's got a hyper beam! No! Like he's gonna destroy you. And it's like nowadays there's like someone uses hyper beam, it's like, okay. It was a that was a poor decision. Sammy, thank you for a thousand bits. Uh black and white is known for having the biggest divide of Pokemon in the series. Uh, why having a hundred Pokemon including evolutions that cannot be caught in black? Uh, yeah, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that. <laughs> oh, stop! Failure! Graydon and Professor Juniper told me, you're heading for the Pokemon League, right? I I'm, I'm just walking, man. Now's not the time for modesty. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you'll be battling Team Plasma's boss, Ed. Any proof you can handle it. Oh, here we go. Terran's helping us get ready for the final battle by attempting to kill us here. We can take him. Oh, is Grief still, like, oh yeah, Grief is still poisoned. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Oh, because Charon is Servine as well. Uh, I'll be fine. I think he has Superior now, actually. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Everything that I've learned in this journey, that's lovely. Go on, go for the taunt. Go for the taunt. I've only got attacking moves anyway. Uh, 
Uh, wants to learn Aqua Tail. I don't think we have space. We need Aqua Jet. I need the Fighting type. I I need Mega Horn as well. I could just go for the Mega Horn here, but if this doesn't land or if something goes wrong, then like, well, that, that that's a quite costly mistake for a mistake. This should only have Grass type attacks, which we resist. Hurts for a fair amount. It's faster as well. I'm actually surprised. His side are very speedy, or ours is very slow. Oh, good god, that did a pitiful amount of damage. Oh no. Oh. Not again, Fear! Oh shit, he's boosted now as well. Okay, Grief can still resist it. I know Grief is poisoned. But we have to use them here. Because they can resist it so well. Holy shit, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. I'm not faster than that as well. Oh, bollocks, right. Okay, this is actually getting kind of bad. <laughs> Everything's in crit range right now, which I don't like. It's got shocking speed. If I switch to Famine, I don't think I have anything... I don't think I can kill it. Fear did so little damage. I can try, but like, this situation is getting a lot worse. I don't want to switch directly to the Haxorus, because the Slam will actually really fuck it up. That's doing so much damage. Okay, I think Famine's faster though. Because it's a Whimsicott. I have to kind of hope that Shadow Ball gets at the kill range. Or I could go for the Tailwind. The Tailwind is... Okay, I think the Tailwind is actually safer. I think the Tailwind is safer, because I don't think Shadow Ball is going to kill it, because we hit it with a super effective bug-type attack. It actually has shock and bulk. I don't think Shadow Ball is going to do it. I know Slam might kill, but we're in a tough spot. Shadow Ball won't kill. Uh, no, it won't. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. I think we might have to sacrifice Famine. <laughs> Which is a quite bad start <laughs> for the stream today, but I don't think we have a choice. Because if I don't sacrifice Famine, I have to sacrifice something else. I don't think attacking here will kill. I really don't think it will. It's not Stab. We had Stab, it was super effective. It tanked it so damn well. And we have way less attack. Let me just run the numbers. Special attack is 76. Special attack is 86. Yeah, so th there's no way it'll kill. Absolutely none. It will absolutely live Shadow Ball. Tailwind is our best bet. And we have to hope Famine lives. Come on, Famine. She's okay!
Okay, uh, now we have to go to Strife, and with the Tailwind back on us, a Dragon Claw should do it. I think we could- yep. Slam won't kill us. Leaf Blade will hurt quite a bit, because Overgrowth. Don't get Paralysis with Slam. We're good. Okay, and now we just Dragon Claw from here. Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, we got it. Famine lives to see another day. <laughs> Tailwind's gone. Oh, fuck, this might have pursuit. Not this again. It definitely has fake out. I think we chance a not pursuit in this situation. Okay. God almighty, we're being like quite badly injured as this fight goes on. Calamity can take it from here, I think. Oh no, the fucking monkey at the end! Oh shit, our team's in rough shape. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, go into Mistake. And we can use Megahorn. Don't burn. God, this is getting worse. <laughs> oh no. Alright, just get some damage on it. I think we can live. Yep. Oh, that does fucking nothing. <laughs> this is really bad. We might have to sacrifice someone. Hmm. Can Calamity live potentially two skulls? <laughs> it's a ballsy proposition. It depends if he goes for the Scald now. The AI is kind of weird where sometimes it'll predict the switch and it just knows the exact move to use. It depends if it goes for Skull. Am I faster than the monkey? Speed 119. How fast is the monkey? Base 102 speed, 101. So we're we're probably slower than, aren't we? 
It might be. Tailwind's gone. One hundred one versus eighty-eight. Okay, so it's unfavored that we would be faster. Very unfavored. Shit. I can guarantee to kill it if I sacrifice something. If I don't sacrifice something, <laughs> the situation is going to get way worse before it gets better. Which switch does the strife work? Probably not. If I switch the strife, I simply have to do another switch. We can take a wild gamble with the Excadrill, but I think that's going to endanger- that endangers the entire team. If Calamity dies, right, then Famine would also have to die to set up a Tailwind to get us out of this situation. We'd have to sacrifice two if the gamble doesn't work. I think we have to make the call to sack something. I think something's gotta go. We don't full stop. Says one guy in chat. No, we probably do. We probably do have to sack something here. If I go straight to Calamity, then Calamity might die. We can't afford Excadrill dying. We cannot afford it. Excadrill is our win condition. It's so dangerous. Because it's gonna- it, it can- it'll just use Scald, and if it gets a burn, we're fucked. How are you gonna get Tailwind's set up? I can do Tailwind if I well if something else died. To get Tailwind set up, two things have to die. I would only have to do that if Calamity is dead. I think this might this might be faster than most of the rest of my team. I can probably get the revenge kill in with fear if I sack something as well. Don't want, oh, I don't want to lose Whimsicott, but we might have to. Excadrill won't... Ex, it's too dangerous for Excadrill. It's slower, so it's probably going to just be Scald twice. And die. But it would have to be Whimsicott, because everything else is too valuable. Whimsicott or Fear would have to go. I think it has to be Whimsicott, though. Because ah, I... Fury is so damn good just because of the bug coverage. It can hit so many things and my compound eyes. I want to... Is there a world where Calamity lives? I don't think there is. It's if he doesn't use Skull for some reason. If he doesn't use Skull. That's it. Okay, you want to chance it? Because this risks two Pokemon's lives. Here we go! <laughs> There we go! <laughs> 145. 
And now Famine has to die as well. Wait a minute. Famine's faster. Famine can live. Giga Drain. Famine's okay. The only reason I did that is because that one guy in chat was like, you don't have to sacrifice anything. <laughs> How's he? How you doing? How you all know? Ah, oh, Jesus. Calamity you served as well. Something had to go. No way I can compete with you, failure. If there is anything I can do to help in the battle and just say so. Failure. It's not much I can do to help you, but I want you to have these. Still, it's kind of funny. Everyone's so different. Funny at a time like this. Come on, Sharon, could you smile just for once? Taking everything so seriously all the time isn't going to change anything. You know, since we've met our Pokemon and walked the same roads together, a lot has happened. We've all changed a lot found out that the things we want to do and the things we can do are different for each of us, right? It's what made our journey so worth it. Somehow all this just makes me happy. That's what you mean. You're right that we are all different and we should do the things that we can do. There's as many truths and ideals as there are people in Pokemon. The most important thing is that we can help one another out. That's why people in Pokemon are always by each other's side. That's why I've come to think lately. Failure, if anything happens to you or Alder, I would do everything I can to help you. I have to keep training and getting stronger. Just don't be reckless, okay? God forbid. <laughs> Honestly, that was a very unfortunate situation. Something had to die. Something had to go in that fight. And I think Calamity served us so damn well up until this point. And I think it's more interesting if we don't have Calamity. I didn't just do that out of spite. I think it's more interesting this way if we now don't have Excadrill. It's gonna make it very challenging. Something had to die. There was no way out of that. He's gone. Failure. Me too. I'll do my best to help if I can. Wish I could say something like totally inspiring, you know? Okay, best foot forward. Thanks, Bianca. How's the team holding up? Oh, Jesus. Oh, she healed them, but Calamity's dead, unfortunately. I think this makes it way more interesting. Pop him in. You did amazing, Calamity. Okay, we still have the rest of the team. We still have the rest of the team. Um, replacement? Honestly, probably the best villain that we could use is this Darmanitan. Uh, we could just put in Golurk as well, maybe. Uh, what level does Golurk evolve at? We do actually have our backup ground type Pokemon that we've had this entire time. Despair actually is here, and this actually might be the time for Despair to shine. It's gonna need a bit of leveling though, is the only thing. This one's 42. It does need a bit of training. Intimidate could be very valuable. It does open us up to fighting types again though. I, I'm gonna have a real problem with fighting types. As we go through here. Because it, 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 I know I have a ghost type Pokemon. But it's because all the fighting type Pokemon have also Rock Slide. For access to it. I 
Golet would be more of a Pokemon that I could use that maybe... Maybe it would be a bit of a solution. But, oh no, this one had... Of course, this one has the worst nature. Because of course it does. And it has Klutz. Yeah, that's we forget. Are there any catches on the next route we could get? We might get something. Maybe we take the spare on board just for now. It's always Cobalion. <laughs> we did catch this thing earlier. <laughs> it's still weak to Marshall, yeah. The Cabalion's actually legit. No, uh, sorry, the Cabalion's actually, like, we put it here because I plan not to use him. But we did actually catch him fair and square. There is nothing in the rules actually against using him. We did catch him. We could even, like, kind of bring back Victini if we so choose. Considering the fighting types, definitely a worthwhile contender because it's actually psychic. It actually resists shit. Axiom and Cavalier in the same area. Uh, static encounters we've treated as separate. Yeah, I think I think I'm debating what I actually put in the slot for now. Honestly, just Victini for victory. <laughs> Moral support. God, we got some good Pokemon in that graveyard. Uh, this is a weird choice, but that could work. How do you evolve Gatorita? You trade it, don't you? I could do that. It's very bulky. It combats psychic types, and it's a modest nature. Oh no, it's just level up, is it? Okay, 41. Weirdly, could be the one that we use. It's it's bulky and it actually kind of fills like a hole in our team. Quite effectively. Strife is going to have to fill in for Excadrill. It, it's one of these two. It's like the Crocodile or Gatharita. But like, if considering like we've struggled with fighting types historically, Gatharita might be a really safe call just to have. Okay, it's time for Gamer the Shine then, right. It's not too far behind in terms of level as well, so this won't take long to get, like, to catch up. I do have two XP shares, but I want to level up everything, but no, just put one there. Okay, and yeah, we need to get the rest of the gang to level 50. <laughs> we really need to get them up. Does not increase weakness to ghost. Our strategy for the ghost one is to just use Haxorus and kill everything. We'll probably have to redo some TMs as we go. Uh, is there anything good I can pop on Gatorita? Can I learn like Sludge Bomb or something? I don't know. I already got Psy Shock. I think that's the main one that needed it. Can I learn Fire Blast? Might be able to. Glenn Thunderbolt. I mean, it's okay. Not as good because it's not stab. But I mean, we do have some like just kind of trash moves right now. Like we don't need heal block and shit. And learn Shadow Ball as well. Yeah, I mean it's it's. Coverage. 
You probably don't want to use Shadow Ball because that's super effective against just utter ghosts. Uh, we ideally want to switch. Uh, but okay, we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Uh, in the absence of Excadrill as well, I need to now teach Bulldoze, I think. To Haxorus. Just for additional coverage. Actually, no, in the absence of Excadrill, damn, we don't have a lot of fighting type coverage either. Probably need to keep that. I probably need to keep that. We can get rid of strength. We'll redo moves once we get to the Elite Four. We can get rid of strength then. We need to get through Victory Road. Ah, oh, God. Okay, the run must continue. Uh, we can still see what encounter we get here as well. Oh, a double battle encounter actually might be kind of bad. Hey! Oh, it's the mushroom! Okay, a Vullaby. Dark Flying. Mandibuzz. We already have a Fungus. We do have a Fungus. What level does Vullaby evolve at? Fifty-four. Jesus, it's gonna. That's gonna take a while. Also, I'm I'm in a substantial bit of danger just weakening these Pokemon. I think I might just run. <laughs> it's actually quite dangerous. Both these Pokemon are, are oddly threatening for what my team composition is. I can't, I can't take them all. Hey, we get, uh, maybe Vullaby can- well, I'm, I'm, Vullaby won't have- Vullaby won't be able to kill Chandler, surely not. Surely not. By Mega Horn and then like Fire Blast Amoongus. There we go. Okay, get him down. Okay, oh, uh, this is bad. No, we shouldn't have stayed in. Oh, wait, oh, that, okay. I panicked, I panicked. Woo! Okay, an Aqua Jet. And we simply switch here. Uh, Bug, I think, resists Dark. I think Haxorus is probably, uh, the... Actually, does it have Flying? I'd switch in Famine otherwise. Switch in Fear. Faint attack. Oh, Bug doesn't resist Dark. Okay, I thought it did. Uh, well, I'm just gonna have to switch again because I don't want to fucking murder it. Everything's gonna get a little bit injured. Okay, we can catch it safely from here. There we go. 
I guess ma mandibles is gonna is a weird option we just have available. Like sure. Uh, what we want to call it? Baby Dash Bird. I, 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 we can get in Baby Dash. It will be awkward though when Baby Dash grows up. It's like naming your cat kitten. There we go. Oh, I just thought of something. <laughs> oh, no, I just had a terrible idea. Oh, no, I think I can do that, though. I... Guys, if I go in the victory road and encounter a dust cloud, can I just capture a new Excadrill? <laughs> It's dupes. Dupes gives you the option to not capture the same. You are allowed to capture the same and use that as your encounter if you so choose. I could just get a new one. I know we're still mourning, but... Oh boy, thank you for a thousand bits. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think I'm gonna do that. But that that's just fucking wild that we we actually probably could do that. <laughs> that's fucking funny for a Nuzlocke. It's like, oh, my, my drill burst got. Pick up a new one. Because it's guaranteed. It's literally the only thing that spawns. <laughs> It's like replacing a goldfish, no one will know. Oh, oh here's the mushrooms. Just, let's just get fighting the guy here. Can't remember which one of these are actual items. Without dupe claws, you could just have a team of Excadrills. Is there anything against that? I feel like you could just do that. Like, sure, your team would suffer terribly in terms of balance. But you could just have, like, three Excadrills. Be like Lance and his Dragonite smack, too. Uh, we'll just use Aqua Jet here. This thing always is sturdy. So we can't one shot kill it anyway. <laughs> it is tempting to just get a new Excadrill, ain't it? It's so good. I think it would be, like, close to the same level. I didn't even think about that. I didn't know in my head that if I ever came down to, like, one Pokemon at the go, like, I was gonna trade away Excadrill. Because, you know, we've gotten good use out of it, just make it a- spice it up a bit. But I never even consider the idea of just catching a new one instantly. Oh, 
We'll hold off and decide until we see a dust cloud, okay? Now the thing is, we'll still have to catch it, and it's still actually still going to be quite a dangerous encounter because it's still, you know, an Excadrill. We might get lucky with a quick paw, but if we don't, then like, you know, it might just murder us. The master paw. <laughs> We, we might need that for something later. It would be very funny if I catch a new X control. <laughs> I might have to. Okay, we'll, we'll wait and see when the dust cloud appears. We'll wait and see when the dust cloud appears. And then we make the decision. Of a modest Excadrill. <laughs> Made this far. Well done. That's an impressive accomplishment. Show the respect I feel for you. I'd like to present you with this gift. Oh, thanks. The Dust Stone. This, this item makes certain Pokemon evolve. They use one to evolve a Lampin from the Celestial Tower. Going. We have a few more scary trainers before we even get inside the, uh... Oh, Jesus. Uh, Victory Road itself. I think here, the safest thing is probably switching to Grief. This is grass normal. And it also has fighting type coverage. And I think we can just flame burst it in return. Level up gamer in the meanwhile. Our first Jellison! Let them go. Jellison, big and bulky. Uh, probably safest to switch in the famine and just start popping off Giga Drain. Because it has so much HP that we'll pretty much just get it back. It's a little scary with Rain Dance. It actually has decent special attack. Oh no, it disabled it. It's actually a bit annoying. Uh, Shadow Ball? Water Ghost. That's not gonna kill. I, I personally prefer the male Jellicent just because it looks more like Mr. Pringle. Of the two. I think it's like a valid justification. Pick up this. I think we're at Victory Road now. We're at the entrance. There's just gonna be so many chances to train on the run up here. Bear Arte. Don't think he has decent bulk. I don't think I really need to switch here. He doesn't have like a grass type attack as far as I know. Rock slide. Thank you. 
Mr. Pringle has an actual name. It is Julius. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize. Julius Pringle, is it? It's quite formal. <laughs> I've never heard that. It's full legal name. Oh, no. You can take it. Giga Drain the Kill. You're alive, Famine, because Calamity gave her life. Hope you know. Scavalier, uh, I think this is pretty safe. It's Bug Steel. Just times four super effective stab fucking melt them. Abundant kindness as well as strength. There's not a Pokemon Center uh, at the entrance, is there? I think it's just straight to the gate. Okay, yeah, so uh, let's go back and just quickly heal them, because we had actually quite a few fights here. Happy-go-lucky. Alright, let's get everyone just healed up. Uh, and then we will spam Max Repels until a dust cloud appears. <laughs> there we go. Uh, shout out to Oshawott now being like just the longest surviving member. It's him and Calamity would have been the OGs. But Calamity risked her life. Alt, unqualified ones shall not pass. The key to open this closed gate is the trio badge. There we go. Oh, holder of the trio badge. Challenge all that you face. You'd open this gate as the basic badge. We're gonna need to start using the max repels. You'd open this gate is the insect badge. <laughs> this this exhibit is a bit different. <laughs> He's the bolt badge. Gates are placed at the border of one space and another space. In other words, gates mean that the world beyond here is a different world. It does feel like every time you pass through a gate, you're going to a different world. Remember the gym leader who gave you the badge at the same time? Without the Quake badge, you cannot proceed. The music is building. A jet badge. Just straight up fucking fly for that one. <laughs> Freeze badge.
The legend badge. Victory Road, which lies beyond here, and head past your Victory Road, which lies beyond here, and head for the Pokemon League. Prove that you too can be a legend. Okay, here we are. Victory Road. Get climbing. We're going to the Pokemon League. Let me test my skills. We need to get as much XP as we can, too. We're still a bit of a fire cry off level 50. It whims the car. I think we just go Chandelure. I think we're fine. What encounter are you looking for on Victory Road? An old friend. <laughs> okay, Zeb Streaker. Oh, I can't switch into Calamity. Um, to just counter this. I don't think I can really switch into much. Uh, I can switch into Strife. Electric Resist, yeah. Strife can hit pretty hard in return. Strife still has like pretty good bulk. Jesus. Stop. Okay. We're all right. That should just be a one shot. I think we stopped leveling up, gamer. <laughs> uh, because we need to get that XP on someone else. We level up fear. XP share. I have two XP shares. I don't. I don't want to use two. It just splits the XP uh, further. Listen, you can slide on the cliffs here. Watch me. Now you try it. It's a long way down. I can't do it. Makes some nerve the first time, but it's fun. This is how you kind of navigate Victory Road this time. See. To get to new areas. Uh, the darker ground there is encounters on this route as well. Pick this up. We're gonna need every single one of those. <laughs> An eye out for the dust clouds. Also, keep an eye out for the repel because we need to make sure we maintain it. Definitely more interesting than just a cave. Yeah, Victory Road in this one's like a proper dungeon. Okay, so that path there, that just leads me back down. I don't think I want to go back down just yet. 
There's another hat here. Don't you want to heat more instead? No. <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay, Stoutland. These guys always scare me a bit. They have the potential for a lot of damage. Retaliate. It's just because it's stab. Get stronger, fear. We need you. Scalipede. Uh, this is, doesn't have rock slide, does it? I'm wondering if I just stay in or if I switch the grief. I feel like it gets it. I think I stay in for now. I think I can tank one more hit. Okay, I'm just gonna go for Toxic then. We should be okay. Okay, and I can Aqua Jet from here. That mistake, we need you level 50. Hiding behind you. going. How you doing? It's terrified. Uh, there's a lot of doors here. I can't remember what way I'm actually supposed to go. And that one just leads me back down to the bottom again. Came out the one on the right. I'm going here. We just keep exploring until we find the way. Every trainer is just a little scary. More so dreading like the Dar Darmanitans and stuff like that. Give us as much XP as you can. Ooh, I don't like you. Oh, I really don't like you. Oh, that's a little bad. A fire blast should still kill. God, please hit. Thank you. Look, it's heat more. The legendary Pokemon. Oh, oh, thank, thanks for telegraphing that. Appreciate it, bud. Right, so let's calmly switch to safety. <laughs> that would have been really bad if he just used a ground type attack. Yeah. more in this economy. <laughs> it's very selfish, ain't he? I think there was a government official recently that came out and said, just do jumping jacks and you'll keep warm. You know, there's, some, there's some solid advice uh, for the general public. 
for the winter. Why didn't I think of that? It just makes so much sense. We can hop down here. There's just there's a lot to just explore. There's just trainers. Unlock this shortcut. Oh, the dust cloud. Oh, we lost it. Okay. Okay. We'll get another one. That one wasn't X control. That one wasn't X control. Oh, this is gonna be another monkey trail. <laughs> What a side way for Calamity to go as well. It was against the fucking Simi poor. That's the real tragedy. There we go. Oh, yeah, no, speaking of. <laughs> okay, I mean, famine's in good health this time. So we simply go out to famine and we Giga Drain. <laughs> Don't get scalped. Go. Don't get it. It's fucking inevitable. <laughs> Anyone, anything that uses Skull, it will eventually achieve its aim. It's alright. Simi Seer for the last one, so we were gonna switch anyway. you? We got you killed for that Pokemon we didn't use. So much. Well, see you later. Keep the team healed. Have the resources. They are here to be used. We'll stock up as well when we get to the top. Okay. Got got excited there. <laughs> Thought we were about to just be thrown into a fight. I'll take that, I'll take that. I'm gonna go back around. Oh, you scare gonna scare me. Like the ace trainers and the fighting type trainers, like I have so much anxiety every time I see one. It's gonna be one with a Conkeldor someday, and we're gonna ha it's gonna be a struggle. Gamer time. Gamer's not ready. Okay, Scrafty's alright to start with. Keep... Keep ourselves safe. 
Ooh. Okay, thanks, sir. Kind of love that detail, yeah. So if high jump kick misses, they basically keep going and crash against the wall and lose half their health. It's it's kind of fantastic. Got fairly good accuracy too, so it doesn't happen too often. But oh no! Just keep using Surf. I, I think we're on the best possible Pokemon we can we can get for the matchup here. Yeah, no, because this one can get super scary. But we're gonna have it killed, like, in time here. The reason it's a menace is because it has bulk up, it has Mach Punch, which is priority, and it has Drain Punch. And if it gets Drain Punch going with good health, then, like, it just becomes impossible to kill. It has Guts, too, so if it gets a status problem, its attack just skyrockets. It's a very scary Pokemon. You know, it may not have looked at there. Yeah, let's unlock the Doctor. Yeah, it's like base 145 physical attack or something ridiculous as well. And like, it has very good HP too. It's just very scary. Why is the doctor here? He's just hanging out. Okay, we are absolutely not afraid of you anymore. What's that? Oh, sure. Okay. Sick strategy. Your Pokemon are healthy or not, but store them to full health. Thanks, man. With this kind of victory, I think a doctor needs to be here. Yeah, probably. It, it is a very dangerous victory road. The potential just to fall off the side or something is quite high. Use this. this. Hop out. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. is it time? I, I, do we lead with mistake for this encounter? I think we do, and I think I just use one Aqua Jet if things go south. I just toss a Quick Ball if I can. Oh, it's... The Dragon Gem. Not quite. Not quite there. Okay, I can fall back down to the ledge below. Not a trainer. Thought about what I can do to help my Pokemon win, and finally I figured out the answer. Okay, what you got? Hey, that's not too bad now. It won't be a Pokemon if you're using a repel. That's not. Uh, that's actually not true. Uh, it, it can be. The, the dust cloud encounters are separate to, like, what the repels do. Yeah, you're all good, don't worry. The game wants you to move on. <laughs> but it's just the potential, because... 
the weirdly, right? If we can get pull this off and get Excadrill, then that means we didn't lose anyone. <laughs> if we like swap the goldfish and simply, you know, lie to our children. <laughs> no one needs to know. Necromancy is morally questionable. Oh. That sounds like breaking the spear of the Nuzlocke? How's that? What do you mean by that? It's just, we're allowed to catch another Pokemon. There's nothing against that. The spirit of the Nuzlocke. It's not fucking Santa. He said no dupes. The dupes clause gives you the option to ignore an encounter if you already have it. It's basically the option. You may. You are still allowed to catch that Pokemon if you so choose. It's the option. Typically speaking, like, you want it because, you know, you want to get some different Pokemon. But this is a weird situation where getting the same Pokemon is actually very beneficial. Excuse me, but this goes against my Nuzlocke religion! Hey, Crow, how you doing? Um, actually, if you'll check my Nuzlocke Bible, uh, you'll see under Article 5... I think we go down here? Hope you're having fun, this is such a blast. Thanks, Crow. I, I mean, it's been an ordeal getting through this one. It's tough. It is really hard. We've had a lot of close calls. We have to really think about what we're doing or like, that's it. The trainers are so fucking scary. Okay, Gigalit um, has Sturdy, just use Aqua Jet. Oh, that's actually kind of scary. Don't crit. Thank you. The Gigalit actually has quite high uh, attack. Hey, that did a lot. Oh, here's the first Electros, too. Okay, so this thing has really weird coverage. Like, this gives access to a bit of everything. Uh, I think it has Flamethrower. Uh, it's electric, though, and I don't think it has anything to hurt a Haxorus. I think that's probably the safest one. It has no weakness. Wild Charge. Yeah, we'll resist that fine. Electros is like a shocking amount of utility. You can just do a lot of stuff. And like, it's, it's decently bulky too. Ooh! <laughs> oh, I did- okay, I didn't know I had that! <laughs> um... Dragon Claw will kill, yeah, because it was a bit of wild charge recoil. I'm just hoping that this isn't a case where I don't finish it. I'm 
pretty sure I kill here. Yeah, we're good. Jeez, yeah, so it's got like a weird kit. Honestly. Like quite shocking for just like pure electric. Gets a bit of everything. Okay, heal on up. I almost got the first of the gang for level 50. Oh, shocking. <laughs> I didn't even mean it like that. <laughs> There's an item down there, but it's such a long way. Do you have the courage? I mean, I we still have to do a bit of searching in here. Oh, I think I did it. Did I do it wrong? I think I was supposed to go in the middle. Get wild charge at least. Okay, we can we can loop back on in here. Nice. Oh, I absolutely haven't been here. If that's just sitting here, yeah. Oh, I can't get to that door. Yeah, we can hop back in. And go back up. Yeah, we still haven't accessed, like, a bit of it, see? Down here. There's another stairway at the top. Yeah, I think we just go back down and through here. Ah, yeah, there we go. Where's the cave with Terrakion in here? It's supposed to be about here. I might have spoken too soon. Now, just say before we go in here, I, I, we're, we're probably not going to encounter this one because Terrakion, like, it will murder you. Terrakion is, like, just too damn much to even attempt to ca ca capture. If we really wanted it, I could just use a Master Ball. <laughs> yeah, hey, buddy, how you doing? Trial Chamber! So, we can actually strictly get another encounter in here, too. It's got a different name. Do it! Use the Master Ball! <laughs> Let me just see if I can get a Dust Cloud in here. Right, give me one more, Tarakia. <laughs> Okay, let's it's let's, let's see if we can get get the dust cloud encounter. Let's see if we can do it. Probably the best space for it. No point doing the bike. I mean, if we do the bike, just exhaust the repels quick. Well, actually, I guess. Does it increase the odds of bike? I don't know. You just move faster. I feel like I can never control my character when I'm on the bike. Come on, Cloud. Sorry, Shy. I'm pretty sure they can show up here, too. He's looking for a dust cloud, too. Okay, not quite.
I, I tripped. <laughs> this the one? Hang on, let's uh, make sure. Alrighty, composition, mistake in the lead. Am I gonna be safe to use an Aqua Jet against this thing and not kill it? I think I am because it has a lot of HP and Aqua Jet shouldn't be too powerful. I think that's probably best. Excuse drill died to Scald. Yeah, but Aqua Jet is way less powerful. I think I should be fine. There's nothing else I really want to switch in against it. Like, maybe Famine. Maybe Famine. I guess Famine could tank any potential earthquakes. Got just as high a defense. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go with Famine. We'll go with Famine for it. On this cloud. Doesn't want to spawn. We just got it. We got to just keep searching. Actually, hang on, wait. If we lead with famine. Giga Drill might act well, Giga Drain might actually kill it comparatively. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, special attack's so damn low. I don't think it would be possible. Giga Drain. Come on, Dust Cloud. Well, I have plenty of gems to use. It's not bad in and of itself. Didn't even have time for that one. Take him to the mineral man. I, I think we probably want to use the gems. I don't think we want to just sell them. <laughs> Gonna have a lot to use though. The Excadrill is on Route 5. <laughs> oh, God. I'll take a Firestone. It's actually quite rare from the Dust Clouds to put for the Evolution Stones. I think you can get most of them through them. Taking its time, it doesn't want to show up easy. And confirm Excadrill's on all floors, dust clouds, according to the wiki. Thanks there. Thanks 100 bits. Just get to Rakia. Like, we've been searching for like five minutes. <laughs> it hasn't been that long. I 
of all the sick evolution stones we're getting, too. <sighs> Cupcake part two. Like, I find it wild. Like, we, we, we've done, like, 3,000 encounters for Wooloo before that, like, literally took three months of streams. But, like, the moment we have to spend, like, 10, 20 minutes just searching for, for one spawn, it's like, no, he's never gonna do it. There we go. All right, round two. No oh, Pokeball. Oh, not quite. Oh no, it has a one-hit KO move. Oh no! Let's just paralyze it. Oh, I'm a higher level, it doesn't work, does it not? I, I, I didn't know, okay. Oh, what a stroke of luck. All right, we'll just use a little cheeky shadow ball. Hammond's unaffected. I think I can use a Giga Drain here. I think even in a crit that won't kill. Yeah. Still an uncomfy amount of damage. Get one more shadow ball in. There we go, we got Excadrill back! Calamity had a brother. <laughs> Calamity family continues. Okay, let's um let's hop by the Pokemon Center. Oh, in before the nature, hang on. Why is it always so sad? <laughs> Every goddamn time. Oh. I can't get over how bad the natures are. It's consistently awful. It's so consistently awful. Don't die to scald this time. Yeah, true. That's extra fucking special defense. <laughs> oh god. Okay. We might have to do some grinding if we're to get Calamity up and the rest of the team to probably level fifty. I, I level fifty would be a comfortable amount to have. 
Um, we mainly need it on Kalamathu. Okay, I don't mind divvying out the experience here because like everyone just needs some XP. Uh, where would be the best like spot to actually get the Idinos? Did they spawn on the on the route before here? Like Victory Road, Route 10. Yeah, if they spawn on Route 10, that's probably best. We'll go back and get Terrakion later. Uh, Terrakion, Terrakion is just so damn scary. Pokemon League is every trainer's greatest challenge. I want to prepare here. Because if you lose even once, you have to start all over again. He means the game. Oh, we get a Terrakion's chamber encounter too, don't we? Okay. Yeah, we can go back and do that soon. All right, we need to do we need to do a bit of grind. Let me get my hoverboard. Don't reveal calamity's death until after the edit is over. <laughs> Just in the fucking YouTube highlights, like nothing is said, and at some point, as you're watching, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> oh, that's so fucking stupid. I kind of love it. Yeah, no one needs to know what happened here. <laughs> okay, back to Appaloosa. We hop the route on up here. It's an Easter egg! <laughs> Only the real stream viewers will know what happened. But it's it's already so fucking stupid the fact that like we've done this and actually managed to engineer a second exit drill. Like usually it like in a standard nuzlocke, this would be completely impossible. There's just no way you could do it because like the encounters are so different. Specifically worked out because this is a guaranteed encounter in every cave in the game. Okay, uh, we need single grass for this, don't we? So that's all double grass. There's no more single grass over here, is there? There's a patch of it here. Is this the best patch for it? Down the steps is better, is it? Hope you like this motion. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to encounter an Adino, because Adino gives you a huge XP boost when you defeat it. And we need to get some bulk onto Calamity 2. <laughs> before we go battle the Pokemon League. It will be lacking a lot of effort values, but it will thankfully actually get a lot of them from the encounters here, specifically because of Pokerus. <laughs> Which is wild I can even say that, but yeah, we have Pokerus. Let's see how much this gives. We have a lucky egg as well, so that should increase it. Considering how much that is split, like 2k a pop. Should help. Use rare candies, please, in all caps. Uh, so if I use rare candies now, this entire process will actually take longer. <laughs> You use rare candies at the end of a level grind, um, because rare candy, it just it ups it by one level.
It's not, this honestly isn't too bad. It don't take too long to get like a good few of them under our belt. Level 36 one is big HP. They just try to heal you as well, god love them. They have heal pulse. Uh, we don't want to have to use retaliation. <laughs> Okay, so mistake. Mistake is where they need to be. Uh, we'll get grief up next. There we go. No hydro pump to level 62 or 63. Yeah, we probably won't get that for a while. Why is Genesect section the party? He's our hoverboard. We use him to fly. I could reset the grass like this too. Wh wh which way do you prefer? Mardino. I actually need to use fire blasts to so bulky otherwise. I might not die. Okay, Fear's almost level 50 as well. Sucker Punch is an interesting one. Like, maybe in the very specific scenario- I mean, it's basically priority. It could have specific application. We don't need Thunderbolt and Thunder as well. It could actually have application. One of the one of the elite four is a ghost type. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. They can be fast with the grinding area where Excadrill can fight the Idino itself, not splitting the XP. Uh, so we actually like the team in general just needs some XP before we do the elite four. So splitting the XP actually is is fine here. Uh, I, I can set it to that later, which is Excadrill and the Lucky Egg and get the Arduino. But like right now, everything kind of needs it, so we might as well just divvy it out. It might feel like it's going a bit slower, but it's like actually going the same rate as it would. Just one-on-one. -on -one. Just being divvied out. It's actually nice in this patch of grass, because it seems to only be Arduinos. Uh, shout out to when I was grinded in the Pinwheel Forest a bit, and uh... Turns out there's a 5% chance at each of the bloody monkeys to spawn. So I got to see all of them. Jeff, yeah, thanks for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. Glad you've been enjoying the streams. A nice one getting all the event Pokemon too. Yeah, I wholeheartedly recommend it. What level is Shitface? I can guarantee he's gonna be a higher level. They're doing this actually is grinding for Shitface as well. That's the real goal here. By simply taking a step, he gets an XP. Does care for Shitface? It, absolutely. Shitface is a valued member of the team. Oh, a low value, but he's there.
Dan loves all his children equally, but some more equally than others. <laughs> Absolutely true. Anyone want to bet on him wiping the Marshall? Marshall is the one I'm scared of the most. He's the fighting type Elite Four. And I think several of his Pokemon have counter. And several of them also have Rock Slide, which means that Chandelure can't just sweep. I don't actually know what the plan is for, for Marshall just yet. It may be just a tanky battle with Mistake. That's probably best. Mistake and wins a cup. Everything else has like a quite significant degree of danger attached. Oh, we're getting them faster. Also, shiny hunting for Ardino. Mishaps in the daycare as well. I don't know what level mishap is. I haven't checked on them in a while. I think the smartest thing to do would probably be me to gr grind up and get Gamer to like the level. Like a good enough level where they could tank Marshall, but... I mean, we have to, we have to reuse Excadrill for the content. Like, we have to. The fact that this is even an option available to us is, like, so damn funny. Oh, no, you're not- you're not an Adino. Oh. Oh, okay, what you doing there, bucko? Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. That's a little dangerous. Danger doggo. <laughs> I thought it was only Adino here. I, I guess not. Uh, Yuzi, thank you for the 500 bits. I have no knowledge about Pokemon games, but I've been enjoying these streams anyway. Thank you very much. Pokemon's good fun. I'd honestly recommend it. It's my favorite game series. We're actually making great progress here, too. We have, we have one level 50 already. Calamity was like level... Well, sorry, not... Uh, Calamity. Uh, Strife was level 49 as well. So Strife only needs one more level to get to where they need to be. And right now it's kind of a bit slower just because it's also being divvied out with our uh, Galvantula. So you got, you got to bear in mind. Yeah, th th this honestly isn't that bad. Compared to some of the Pokemon games and what you'd have to do just to catch up an XP. It's not that bad. When you sent us over to Johnstone the other day, he lost a good bite to a semi-poor. Can't even escape the monkeys in Alola. <laughs> oh no, that was like foreshadowing then. <laughs> Simi Boar is what killed Excadrill today. Yeah, you're doing great, Calamito. Calamity's brother is here. He's gonna do great. Consider trying the Nuzlocke with a randomizer? Yeah, probably one day. Probably one day. Well, the only Pokemon game, like, main series one I've actually never played is, I think, Ultra Sun and Moon. That could be fun. But, I, I, that's not gonna be for a very long time. Like, because I'm doing this now. I am doing Scarlet when it comes out, and then Black 2 is the next one that I know I want to do. And that'll probably be it for a good old while. They're the only ones I skipped because I just didn't see the point in getting them. 
because I knew I wanted to get a Switch anyway, and it kind of came came out like end of 2017, I think it was. It's like one of the last games of like 3DS before the Switch fully released. I mean, I, l I liked Sun and Moon. It's kind of like an average Pokemon game for me. I, I think it, uh, it's... I just don't like the region. I think that's what really bothers me. It's way too linear, and it doesn't let you get lost in it. I think that's my, my, my biggest, like, critique of that game. Oh, so who gives a shit about Z-Moves? <laughs> Irish Bad hates Hawaii. That's I, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, scary. Danger doggo. Get out of there. The moves are way more balanced than Megas. I mean, arguably yes, like, cause I, I, I know Megas are a bit busted, you know? But Megas was still the best extra battle mechanic they've ever had, just in terms of the concept. It's like the logical next stage for Pokémon is to have the Mega Evolve, on top of Evolution. You know, regional variants in that are really cool too, I really do like how they're doing them. But it's still, I still prefer Mega Evolutions, I think they're like the, my favorite thing they've ever introduced. It just felt good. And like, it felt like a proper upgrade and increase for like a Pokemon that you could use and kind of plan around. Like the main problem is just not every Pokemon had a Mega. And the hope, for, I know for myself and a lot of other people, was they simply add more. But instead they just drop it for Z-Moves, which no one cares about. They've dropped it now for Dynamax, which... Eh. I don't think anyone's really gonna miss it. And like, you know, the new one looks cool. Like, type change, Terastalize, however you pronounce it. But it's kind of sad because you already know it's going to be dropped. You know? So like, the trend now is don't get attached to this, which is kind of sad. So much motion sickness right now. If you honestly, if you just want to like use the stream as like podcast background. Uh, I'll pretty clearly tell people when we're going back to the Elite Four. You should be alright. So don't worry there, okay? You can put me in the background. I'll I'll just be I'll just be over here. Don't don't mind me. I'll just be tucked away. Ace, thank you for a thousand bits. Hi, Arthur. I haven't played a Pokemon game since X, but your Pokemon content has gotten me excited to play Violet as soon as it comes out. Looking forward to your playthrough of Scarlet and good luck in the Nuzlocke. Thank you very much. Very excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Cannot wait. You got robbed of Gen 6 uh, starter Megas? Yeah, they, they should have got them. They, they should have. But instead, they were kind of like, oh, it's Gen 1 again. Oh boy, my favorite. He's like, Gen 1 really isn't that bad of a gen with the designs. It honestly isn't. It's fine. It's just, I'm sick to death of seeing them. And I think a lot of people are in that camp. There's like so many cool Pokemon. Why you gotta use like the same combo of Charizard, Pikachu, Gengar, till the end of time. You know, it's, it's nothing really against those designs, even as much as I seem, you know, I, I really don't like Charizard. That's because it's just, it's fucking everywhere. Like, that's why I don't like it. I'm just sick of it. And I feel like that it just robs the attention from a lot of other Pokemon. 
Like one of my favorite things about Legends Arceus is that they just kind of cherry pick the starters from different generations. So you got like a really unusual bunch in that game, and I kind of love that. Kinda do love that. I'd probably go as far as to say that I think like Legends Arceus has the best starters in any Pokemon game. Just because of the way they did it. It's just so much more interesting. Do you want to have another type add to the game? Uh, there's no real need. There's no real need. Fairy make, made sense because Dragon needed a nerf, basically. That's why Fairy type exists. Uh, but, like, right now, I just don't see the need for one. Ice types need a buff. I, I, well, I, Ice types need, like, a defensive buff. I think it, it, uh, that's the main issue. They're just too damn frail. Ice type attacks are really strong, but like ice type Pokemon themselves is almost always a hindrance. I wish we could get a Molga of all things here. Hello there, friend. Ah, uh, sure, we'll kill you anyway. But the odds must be really low on that. What about triple types? I mean, they're testing the waters for that now, aren't they? The new, the new gameplay mechanic is you change your type mid-battle. Basically that feature. I think the main problem with a triple type Pokemon is just... The type matchup chart just... It's just too much. You know? It adds, like, so many complications. And adding, like, a third type, even the Pokemon as a whole, would probably just render a lot of Pokemon just obsolete immediately because they lack a third type. Type matchup Pentagon, let's go. Like, it, like it'd be cool to kind of experiment with, because, like, the, there'd be so much potential for, like, building the team and shit, but like, I think it'd just be too complicated. It'd be too much, like, information to maintain. And, like, it's been two types since the start. You just you just keep it two types. Terastalize is a good happy medium. Change type. Okay, we're actually completely out of power points, so we need to go back to the Pokemon Center. Give me one sec. Give Flygon flying type to make it times eight weak to ice. Like, even saying that, times eight weak to a type, like that... You sneeze at the Pokémon and it would die. There's way too much that could go wrong there. Robbed a Mega Flygon. Flygon should have got one, yeah. Gen 6 Pokemon, I think, were the ones that suffered the most from Mega Evolution. They, didn't, they got one for a Pokemon that's not available in-game. That's the generation that introduced the very concept. Like, that, that's just kind of stupid. At least with Dynamax, they kind of fixed that with the G-Max forms. But only via DLC, mind you, for the starters. From the get-go, at least, they do, did still have, like, a lot of Gen 8 Pokemon can actually Dynamax. Uh, and then, of course, every Gen 1 Pokemon. <laughs> Gotta get those in again. And Le don't forget Leon with his Charizard, yes. 
There's a way to get Fortress or whatever its name is. A uh, time 16 weakness to fire. Like, why would you want to do that? <laughs> time 16. It's horrific. Time Fortress is like it's it's like it's good. It's just inc so damn flammable. Spontaneously combust. Tap it and it dies. <laughs> yeah, like you're just like, like, just like trickle your finger along it, and like the vague motion of like a spark or something immediately ignites. Why would you want to do that? You've doused it in petrol at that point. <laughs> Maybe Team Plasma was right. Maybe we're bad at the Pokemon. Uh, I can turn off the battle animations as well, can't I? Could do that. If we want to save, like, a minute or two doing this. Remind me to bop these back on. What is the least interesting, most forgettable Pokemon? Um, oh, let me think. Okay, for starters, it's the second stage evolution. It's probably like something like Clang in this game. Clang's pretty sad. Like, you could be a Clink fan, you could be a Clink Clang fan. You are not a Clang fan. It's just a slightly bigger gear than Clink, but not quite the final evolution. Take that back. How long has this been going? Uh, not too long, honestly, with the grind. We, we actually haven't been here too long. It doesn't feel like it. It is nice just having a bit of chill chat and that. We will get back to the Elite Four, of course, but we kind of need to do this. Otherwise, I mean, if I go straight to the Elite Four now, we'll probably die. I would normally do like a section like this off stream, but of course I don't want to just end the stream before we do the Elite Four. What sort of changes would you make to the current Pokemon formula? Uh, put Mega Evolutions back in. Bring back the National Dex. Make a decent post game. Actually try with the post game. Even if you don't agree with me on Mega Evolutions, National Dex, and, um, t you know, post game. But I, I, they should just be there. <laughs> like, Pokemon is the most successful media franchise on the planet. If it's a case of manpower, that they can't do those things, um, they can hire more people. They, uh, they, they can just do that. Like, there's just no excuse. I can't lie, I don't care about the National Dex. The, well, for the National Dex for me, it's just the fact that you can't bring a Pokemon over. This Pokemon, up until the seventh generation, like, built itself up in the idea that, like, if you use this Pokemon a while, from, like, the old games, like, you can still use that same Pokemon. You can transfer it over. Stick with it. You know, yeah, you're not going to be able to catch them all in one game, but to be then denied the option of even using one in a game, like, it just, it doesn't sit, sit well.
Oh, you, we can find you here. Okay. Sure, I think you give attack EV, so maybe we get some of them on our Excadrill. Okay, no, we don't. We don't. Get out of there. <laughs> Jesus. Angry boy. How many uh, rare candies do I have as well? Let's just check for the very end. We have one. <laughs> okay, so we have three level 50 Pokemon now. We're getting there. And one of them's level 47 as well. We'll go- we'll, we'll go here to like top of the hour and then like check how we're doing. This is easy to grind in this game. Yeah, it, it's not that bad. The Odino hunting works quite well. For when you run out of trainers. Like compared to like, like Heart Gold and Soul Silver's potential grinding you can get in that game. Like this is nothing. Dark Gold and Soul Silver, your best bet is like level 24 Gravelers for the Elite Four. <laughs> Which is not a good feeling. Okay, I'm gonna need actually. Probably gonna need to leave with something else just to get the XP here. Poor Famine. Like, Famine is such a good utility Pokemon, but she's just quite weak. Get him fair. to learn Hurricane. I mean, that's a wild move option. Uh, it's arguably better than Shadow Ball. That accuracy is rough, but it might help with Marshall if it comes down to it. Shadow Ball is kind of, like, just useless. Like, Shadow Ball is not doing much. I think we forget Shadow Well for now. Okay, uh, let me just change the composition here. Feed the lucky egg. Do a little grind. The egg. Sure. Yeah, so we're almost there. Like, these are the last three that we have to effectively get up. It won't be much longer. Klefki is probably my favorite utility Pokemon. I love the design. Klefki is actually, like, surprisingly good. Yeah. It's Steel Fairy and, like, actually decent resists. It can, like, set up, like, every kind of entry hazard, too. And it gets Thunder Wave. We need the XP grind your hoverboard. <laughs> the next step, we need to get him up. It's gonna make it go a little bit faster there. Fear won't take long to level up as well, just because bug type Pokemon in general need less XP. Has he been grinding for almost three hours now? No, only about 20 minutes. We actually haven't been here that long. Volt switch. We just need to get a little bit in. 
Like, there's no need to grind past level 50. We just want a little bit of security for the Elite Four, considering the stakes of the challenge. It'd be kind of foolish not to. Not gonna lie, knowing that there, there are 332,000 things you would have to put on a three-type matchup chart makes me want want to make one for the hell of it. <laughs> yeah, see, I, th I think that's the problem. Yep. That's, that's a few too many. Which one of, like, the 300,000 possible type combinations am I up against? is not a question you want to have to ask in a battle. <laughs> like, you need, like, a reference chart with you at all times. I think currently, as it stands with Pokemon, we're only missing, like, 20 types. And, like, a fair few of them are just normal and a thing. Yo, thank you for the 200 bits. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're doing alright. Need a manual type combos. I mean, it's a case for, for new strategy guides. You've heard of the Bible. Now get ready for the new Pokemon matchup type book. Probably be longer. <laughs> really want a poison steel type. One of the best type in apart from maybe fairy steel. I'm surprised we don't have poison steel yet. I thought that's one they would have done by now. We get normal dragon as one of the confirmed ones for the next game. It's quite a weird one. Electric fire? We kind of have that true Rotom. We even have water fire through that one event mystical I forget the name of. I don't think he even had like an event distribution release or something. Grandpa's no little dragon, is it? I thought Grandpa was just dragon. Oh, okay. Calamitu wants Swords Dance. <laughs> like, the, the move set is basically back already. We just need to teach a Brick Break now instead of, like, the one-hit KO move. It's actually wild. No one's gonna be able to tell the difference. I'm very excited to see what new Pokemon they introduce. I just hope we get a lot- I hope we just get cool new regional variants. Or than anything else. Cool new Pokemon too, of course, but like, the regional variants are like such a treat to see now. It's just like complete re-envisioned design. I'm like, I've loved them ever since they've been introduced. We also get like the regional evolutions now too. Which are quite exciting. It's like a lot of Pokemon that feel like if they had one more stage to be better, and now Game Freak's like, hey, let's do that. You know, like, Cursula is like a really cool Pokemon. You know, like, Corsola on the map again. And one more level, Fear. You're almost there. Got it. I like Arceus Evolution Program where you have to use moves a number of time. Hey, what's that? Is that in Legends Arceus? I, I, I never actually used Arceus long enough to get that. I thought I thought it was plates. Huh. Oh god, so you don't even need the plate. That's probably pretty broken then for Arceus. 
I mean, it is Arceus. This is already kind of broken. <laughs> oh, just the evolution method in general, you mean? Sorry. I thought you meant, like, Arceus itself. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 that, that, that is quite nice. Feels like a bit more of, like, a personal way to, like, evolve a Pokémon. You actually have to go out and use it. I know, I know Sir Fetch has that. Where you have to get, like, but, but Sir Fetch ones is a bit wild, because I think you have to, like... You have to get three crits, I think it is? It's actually quite tricky. Three crits in one fight, yeah. Like, that's actually quite hard to do. I imagine it has moves, though, that boost critical hit ratio to make it more likely. Oh, come on, Fear, you can get him. Come on, Fear, you can get him. Okay, just a little bit more. Three crits in a row, I thought it was. I don't think it's three crits in a row. That that feels like way too much. The odds of getting that. That would be impossible. Okay, heal on up. Uh, I can switch something out for Haxorus. We just need to get one level with Haxorus. Keep the hoverboard, because we'll fly back to Pokemon League. Yeah, you got Pokerus as well now. Welcome aboard the team. <laughs> We've two level 49s, we just need to get up one more level. And then we just get whatever XP we can on the rest of the gang. Long League increases the chance of a crit if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, that's Firefetch like special item then. That definitely helps. Way better than the stupidity of Galarian and your mask where your Pokemon has to be at a certain percentage of health and walk under some random arch. Yeah, that's probably like the weirdest specific evolution I think there's ever been. I, I can't see them just replicating that in every game where they now need to insert, like, the arch mechanic. mechanic. You know? That'd be really weird. So your mask needs to be very badly injured and you walk under a certain location in Sword and Shield, and that's the only way it evolves. It's, like, so weirdly specific. Just like the NK one where I told you, nowhere at the beginning. But they kind of hint that in-game, though, I think. That you're supposed to hold your 3DS upside down. That is, that is like a joke evolution, almost. Hold it upside down and it'll evolve. It has like Mew under the truck energy. They've always put it in a grassy stone, I wouldn't put it past them. Well, they've actually changed that now, now you can just use the leaf stone. They even have an ice stone that exists in the game now, too, so you don't have to wait around. Okay, go on, you can take a stout one. Go on. Danger Doggo. How do you think Galarian your mask will evolve in future generations? Well, obviously they need to maintain the sanctity that is the Arch Evolution. <laughs> Some programmer for the rest of their days in every Pokemon game needs to program that in. They might have taken the National Dex, but they can't take what's sacred. Come on now, Game Freak.
Can it always be a low resolution, poorly textured arch? Absolutely. Yeah, that's important. Important part of it. If it doesn't look like it came off the PS2, I'm not interested. Something I am quite excited for, and just kind of like with Scarlet and Violet, it does seem to look a bit nicer. I kind of hope the draw distance is just better. I think that would be a big thing. Because I felt that even in, like, Legends Arceus, where it's like, Pokemon would just pop in a lot. Like, they kind of made it better, at least relative to, like, Sword and Shield. Come on, you can take another stat one. Seems to be switch limitations. Yeah, but Breath of the Wild exists. Like, that's the thing. There are games that have done it better, you know? Just a few more. I hope the game is less handholdy. Uh, I hate how many damn tutorials there are. I hope so too. I mean, the very layout though of the new games looks like it's gonna be like that. Because they pretty much said you can do the gyms in any order. You know, it's like it's non linear. Like, that in itself is huge. And like, you can absolutely guarantee that like when we st come to stream the game, we're gonna be taking the ass backwards route through everything. Like, I think the main thing I wanna do is just like kinda go pick up Mareep and La Larvitar. Who are, are both confirmed to be available in the game. And I would love to have one of each on my team. We won't be doing like a challenge run or anything when the games come out. We're just going to kind of go explore them. But we will absolutely do some shiny hunts. <laughs> I think that is important. Part of me is tempted to start, even start, Scarlet and Violet by just shiny hunting. I've been like debating it, like, a part of me wants to really see the game, because I know it's Sword and Shield, like, I didn't- I never actually got to see the game till like, February. <laughs> After it came out. Which was a while to wait. <laughs> Part of me is tempted to do a round two. Mareep is available in the game. And that would probably be the one that I would go for. Even though it's not strictly a new Pokemon, it's probably the one I'd be most interested in. Little more XP. Stripe doesn't even need that much. The Adinos are bulky. Oh, thanks for making me better. Lama 2. Stronger than ever. What about Lechonk? I do quite like Lechonk, but I don't know what its evolution is yet. The chonk is very cute, though. For some reason, it's the sheep that, like, kind of, I'm, I'm quite smitten with through the Pokemon series. I don't know what it is. Like, three of my favorite Pokemon, like Mareep, Wooloo, and Whimsicott. Just little sheep friends. The Irish heritage or something in effect there. I don't know what it is. I just get excited when I see them, and they just say friend. He's Welsh? <laughs> I don't think so, no.
If we want to be really, like, kind of evil and, like, really torture ourselves for the new games, uh, we do, like, a shiny-only team. So that's Shiny Hunt Fucoco. Shiny Hunt our second Pokemon. Shiny Hunt our third Pokemon. Like, pfft. It would probably take a year. It would, it would take an excruciatingly long time. Unless we got very lucky. The content, though. But, like, is that content worth, like, like at least six months of my life? Because we did that with one Wooloo before, and it took... Like, four months. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it took four months to do one. And we need a team of six. So, like, even just, like, a basic match there, like, you're looking at, like, two years. <laughs> the next Pokemon game might be out by the time we finish. I, I, I think that would be way too much. What made you think you have a choice? <laughs> Yo, I could spend two years of my life and finish the challenge when I'm 29 years old. For, you know, a nice 15 minute video. That someone might leave a like on, on YouTube. That would be the, that would be the payoff. Longest VOD on YouTube. Jack, thanks for 1500 bits. Hope the Nuzlocke is going well. How's my favorite team member, Calamity, doing? Uh, yeah, you know, um, th they couldn't be better. Uh. <laughs> no one say anything. Okay, Strife is now also level 50. Wants to learn Swords Dance, but sadly, got Dragon Dance. You can't actually do that. Too much. Uh, I need to get rid of Strength. I think we, we might be good to go soon. If I just keep the XP share on Kalamatu and then I go into the other fights without using it first, I think we'll passively get enough XP to get it where it needs to be. I think we're set. I think we're set. Honestly, wasn't that bad, yeah. Not even top of the area. Okay, we need to replace strength. Let's get rid of it first. go. I can probably teach it, like, the move that we need for this specific matchup. It's probably the best way to go about it. Brick Break we're gonna use against the Dark Type one. Um, we'll we can use Shadow Claw against the Ghost Type. Then we just start with those two and get a bunch of XP. I think we leave, like, the Fighting Type one till last. Because they will be the hardest one. And you know, I think because we're gonna be going to the Elite Four soon, you know, and this could really be the end of the playthrough. Um, I think we should pay a visit to a special friend we haven't seen in a while. Uh, Professor Juniper, I think, has the TM for False Swipe for us, so if we just stop off there real quick, we can finally pick that up.
How's your Pokedex coming along? 131. Doing pretty good. Looks like you're meeting Pokemon on a good clip. Here, this is a gift to thank you for all your hard work. Gotta get that completion in. Give us an RTM. Oh, we get Protect? Protect actually might be a good one. And we are hidden pa- Jesus, she's just been hoarding these. Visit Mudder as well. <laughs> you probably say hi to Mom. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been home. How do you mention it? Your father went on a journey with Pokemon just as you are. We met during his trip. Then he took another trip. I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> Okay, hoverboard away. Okay, this is it. We're making preparations. Thanks, trusty hoverboard. Get mistake back. Okay, so, the Pokemon that the trainers lead with is probably the most significant thing. Because that's going to determine what we can and cannot successfully set up on. If we start with Ghost, I think, I think that's probably our best bet. Because I think we can just Dragon Dance once and I think we can Shadow Claw, like, everything down. Okay, take off the lucky egg for here. Keep the XP share on for Calamity 2. The item's are actually gonna matter quite a bit here, so we wanna make sure that everyone is kitted out best we can. If we're gonna go the ghost route to start with, right? We, we have to tailor this for each fight. Like, this is a- because it's gonna actually be tricky. There's a lot of potential for us to die. If we're going expert belt, we should do that. We have gems we can use, too. If we get into trouble. We actually have quite a lot of gems, too. We have an electric gem. I know that one, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, okay, let's see what good items we have. A water gem, steel gem. Uh, and then the powder, silk scarf, shell bell. Scope lens and rocky helmet, maybe? Quick claw, it's- I mean, it's not the worst item, it's something. I'm just kind of going through. Tell me what stands out, chat. T tell me what you think might be good here. You can give this, like, a think. We have quite a few options. Right powder for accuracy. It, it is a valid strategy, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, so there was a, was a thing, yeah, so attacks mentioned it there. There's a guy in Castellio who gives you items based on the amount of different trainer IDs you have. Um, I could avail of that to get one or two, but I'm not gonna just because we've got a lot of event Pokemon here. So, like, those items really wouldn't be available to us normally. So we're gonna hold off on that. I think if we get the big route to Famine, I think that's probably the best one for them. It's Giga Drain. Okay, what do we give, uh, Grief, Mistake, and Fear? Therapy, okay. What else do we give them?
Caracol and Chandler. Eh. Do I have a fire gem? No, I don't. I have a ghost gem. I guess I give the magnet to fear. Yeah. I think fear. Yeah, if we. If we I think fear. There's not too many options. Bug gem actually could be good. Bug gem could be good. It's basically something that's guaranteed to die. Very wise. I don't think we have too many good ones. We have two citrus berries. Not bad. And a lum berry. Okay, bug gem. We'll equip that. I think we give a citrus to maybe mistake. Mistake often fills the role of like kind of tanky survive a hit guy. And then we need something on Chandler. Ghost gem. Possible. Scope lens, if we just want to get, like, the extra boost there, maybe. Charcoal, if we just want to increase fire a bit. I feel like Ghost Jam would be better, though, than just passively increasing fire, maybe. I guess the charcoal is multi-use, though. It's probably... It's probably just going to push the fire blast over the edge, so okay, we'll go with charcoal. Alright. Okay, next up for preparation. Have a rare candy. Uh, we'll get famine up just a little bit. Carabas. Strife, we're gonna give that to you. We have a calcium. Give that the grief. Swift wing. Give that the strife. Uh, that's all of those items. Okay, TM check for useful moves that might help us in a bind. Toxic might be one that we could use. Everything can learn it, apparently. What are Grief's moves? We're not, probably not going to teach us the Grief. Flame Burst, Willow, Shadow Ball, Fire. Okay, those are actually pretty solid. We did get Protect. Which is an interesting one. Like, maybe stick that on something. If we want to do, like, Toxic Stall. <laughs> Or, like, Willow Stall. Mistake having access to Protect. I, I feel like we want to get rid of Revenge here. Because Revenge guarantees that we're just going seconds the entire time. And we just want to stop that now. Feel like ending's better than Revenge at this point. Yeah, so get rid of that. It's a little something in case we burn something else on the team, so we can do a little stall. A little stall. Probably won't use Toxic. Like, we have to access the Stun Spore. I feel like Paralysis might be a bit more useful. Uh, Thunder, we've already kind of applied that. Brick Break, I think we've applied this to everything we need it on. Oh, no, we didn't apply it to you. Hang on, because you will get more powerful there. You probably don't want to bank on Horde Drill. <laughs> The ballsy move. So let's, uh, let's get rid of that one. Do we want to go focus miss? No, okay, apparently only the physical hitters can learn it, right? So, no. Acrobatics nothing can learn. I mean, Shadow Claw is just generally useful against the one that we're going to be fighting here. But we've already got all the one Pokemon we needed on. 
Thunder Wave, I don't think anything can learn it. I think Sucker Punch is like an oddly like good situational one. If something's on a sliver of health against fear, that will help us pick up the kill. It is an interesting option though. Okay. Uh, Bulldoze, we got that grand type coverage, which we actually now have in the form of Excadrill once again. That's Calamity. <laughs> Has always been with us and nothing bad happened. Substitute potentially on Whimsicott, but probably not. Probably not. Okay, I think we're ready. I think this is it. The last thing I can do is I have a bit of money. I could spend all the money to get like attack and speed effort value inducing items. We gotta go to the shopping mall. I need my hoverboard again. We can go talk to the guy who gives us more money, too. Hang on. There's a guy over here who... No, he was in here, wasn't he? Gem guy. See if we have a nugget or two. Okay, final preparations. We're almost there. Guy who wants the ore that shakes him to his core. What we got? And we go here. I have two nuggets for you. Yep. That's pretty good because that's two more uh, items we can get. From the Stardust, every little helps. You should enable the animations again. Oh, I will, I will. Don't worry. We're set enough. It's a, re it's a really scary, like, kind of set of trainers, like, we want to make sure we're as ready as we can be. Star piece. Okay. Yep. That's pretty much everything. Are you aware the gems are single use? Yep. It's fine. They will serve their purpose. It's better that we use them than not, you know? So we gotta go back here and then just to the left for the shopping center. Rain Dance and Hurricane should work well. I don't think I have Rain Dance. I don't think we got it. That would be a potential, like, sweep of, like, Marshall if we could set that up. Where's Tornadus? He's on Route 5. He's always on Route 5. Okay. Give me five of these to start with. Five Carabas. Let's see how we're doing then. Okay, that, that's why we only went in stacks of five, just to kind of work out where we're at. Okay, right, so they can't actually raise their stats too much. Well, Calamity 2, here you go. So many stats. Are those effort values doubled with Pokerus as well? Anyone curiosity? It's rare that I have it. They are! Fantastic, ain't it? 
I could get like a fully uh, like effort value trained uh, exit drill. If I pop some more of those on. How'd you get pokerus? It's just random. Oh, it doesn't work on vitamins. Okay. Little bit of HP. Little more speed. Cheeky bit of special attack. Yeah, one more special attack. Let's go. Pump that up. Pump it up. I want a little bit of HP there, weirdly. I think it's just, it makes sense just to kind of get the HP on whoever will take them. Take them on grief. Sure. There you go, a bit more. Okay, let's fly back to the Pokemon League. So this is the end. Wait, have we are do a safety heal just in case? I can't remember if I killed or not. Chantal's lead has Will O Wisp use a Rostberry. Oh, thank you for that information. That's actually quite significant. Is that right? Yeah, we probably need to protect against the burn. Oh, we'd be in a lot of trouble instantly. It's actually a really worthwhile consideration, yeah. It's a good spot. But no, I, 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 although I want the expert belt, being burnt is horrific in this fight. The real question is which one's which again? I, I cannot remember for the life of me. Okay, this is it. Wait, wait. Oh, I forgot to buy healing items. Uh... Let me sell those max revives. <laughs> we mainly need these for just between the fights, so we can guarantee. God, it feels wrong doing that. Yeah, I think I have enough full heals, don't I? 44 of those. So it's, just, it's just the hyper potions. Yeah, get nine more. Uh, that... It should be fine, yeah? yeah get a few super potions. For small numbers. And six of those. Yeah. 36. Yeah, that should be okay. I think if we end up needing more than 36, we're probably dead. That guarantees a full heal between every fight. Save here. Ready. Animations. Echo. Okay. 
Pokemon League is a place where you both pursue strength and express it. The way to express it is simple. You just have to beat the Elite Four and the Champion. You can start your challenge by battling any of the Elite Four. If you defeat them all, you can challenge the Champion. However, I warn you, once you start your challenge, there's no turning back. You must keep battling until you defeat them all, or you would defeat it yourself. You want to go in. Why is everyone screaming pee pee? Why? We have eaters. You can't fucking buy them. <laughs> Why is everyone screaming it? Going in. Okay, is it top left that's ghost? I want to make sure we get this right. Left bottom. This one, is it? Southwest is the one who does not fear the ghost type. Okay. Dark. Psychic. So fighting is the one we do last here. Ghost type. Here we go. Scary battles time. There's a lot that can go wrong in all of these fights. <laughs> Ready, yet? Yeah? Ice broom with dark flame. This man rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. It's part of a novel I'm writing. I was inspired by the challenger who was just here, and somehow I got a little sad. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Four's ghost type Pokemon user. Chantal, and I shall be your opponent. Here we go, round one. Aggregus. Scary ghost type. It's actually going to be handy here because we're going to be able to sack our ability on this thing. And we'll inflict more damage to it first. Okay, so Dragon Dance. We set up. Thank God for that fairy mention. <laughs> we would have been in a lot of trouble. Okay, and now we Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw, and now we get to sack our ability, which is actually kind of good. That we lose it here. I don't think Golurk has anything that can hurt us, and we should be able to just one-shot it. Set up and sweep. Grand alert, we should be okay. I think we're faster. It's why we want at level 50 is so we're at least on par with them. Okay. Alright, that's alright. We're, we're towards the end. It's just a jellison. Seems this is the beginning of my final chapter. Okay, we probably can't one-shot kill this. Genuine question if we switch here. I think Jellison does have Ice Beam. It can learn it. And we actually don't want to stay in because Jellison definitely has Hex, which does double damage if we have a status problem. If we don't one-shot it with a Shadow Claw, we would probably die. So we definitely switch here. The best switch is probably into Fear. I think Fear can live one hit no matter what and just return with a Thunder. Or even just a Volt Switch. Go on, Fear. Okay, Thunder. We're good. 
We have a 10% chance to miss whenever we do that. Oh my god, I didn't kill, but that's okay. That's alright. Okay, vault switch out of here. As she goes for the full restore. Come back to me. We're not having failure die today. Um, probably into famine and we start Giga Draining. I think with the amount of HP we recover, I don't think it can kill us. There we go. Ah, that's a crit. Okay, that's a handy crit. We're all right. I was probably the safest of the Elite Four there down. I'm dumbstruck. I know a lot of words, but right now I can't figure out how to say this. Perhaps the feel I'm having I was put into words. I'm trapped here. Let me say this. Thank you. You went too quick. <laughs> sorry, first I must apologize to my Pokemon. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience because of me. Oh, it's not your fault. This is how battles always are. Even in light of that, I'm still one of the Elite Four. Okay, that's the first one down. Heal back on up. Okay. Not fighting. We can do dark or psychic. So, I think that's dark and that's psychic, is it? Other way around. Okay, dark. This is dark, yeah. Okay, um, what does the dark one lead with? I can't remember for the life of me. I'm just wondering if I need another Lumberry or something for burn. It's a Scrafty. The Scrafty might have Intimidate, but I still think we'd be in a pretty good position. Moxie's crafty. Well, I mean, Moxie's only a problem if it kills us. It's not going to kill us. Cross our fingers. Hidden ability is Intimidate. Okay, gotcha. Right, so, yeah, so we don't have to worry about Intimidate. Okay, so we should be alright, unless he gets a crit high jump kick off the bat. And if he does that, then I guess we're just not winning the Pokemon. <laughs> okay, uh, we want to get the Expert Belt back. Okay, dragon dance and sweep. Crunch, Brick Break, Poison, Jab, and Sand Attack. That's an interesting last choice. Alright. Uh, how you doing, Grimsley? Man, oh man, what is going on today? Challenges coming one right after another. Well, no matter. I'm Grimsley of the Elite Four, and I will be fulfill my duty to be your opponent. Here we go. Scrafty lead. One dragon dance, please. Don't get the defense drop. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> but we can still kill him here. Oh no. Fucking rivalry coming in. Crook style. Oh shit, does it have pursuit? Not this game again. With the attack drop, we probably won't one shot kill it. Okay, um, right, Haxorus Sweep isn't gonna work in this case. Go into Mistake, we can tank at least one hit. No Pursuit. Oh, this is gonna hurt. An uncomfortable amount of damage. Sir. Oh, come on. You can live it. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's crooked dial down. Fish air. Dark Steel. I can't go into Chandelure because it's dark. I could go into Excadrill. But I'm a little wary just because of the level difference. This is a scenario where I was hoping we wouldn't have to use Excadrill, but I don't think we have a choice. Okay, Night Slash, don't do too much. I think Brick Break does way more than Earthquake in this scenario, doesn't it? Stab? No, it's the same, because Stab's super effective, isn't it? I think it actually is the same. It's still times four, but yeah. We can still use a Brick Break here. Dial points. Oh, no. Don't crit. This has a high crit rate. One more. Doing great, Calamitu. <laughs> okay, light powered for the finish. That's good, but I'll never retreat from any battle. Okay, it's probably incoming with the... This one can learn Pursuit. But it also has Fake Out, doesn't it? It's gonna just use fake out. I think I just take the fake out, don't I? I think I take the fake out. Great fucking fake out. Yeah, so now we can switch. I think we probably want to switch. Just so we don't chance it. Okay, what do we switch to? God, everything's so injured. 
Is fear faster? It might be. Night Slash. Jesus. It's in crit range, but I think we have to go for it. Signal Beam will guarantee kill. Come on. There we go. We're faster. We're all right. Somebody wins a battle, and without doubt, someone else has lost a battle. That's the way of battle. Real Warrior doesn't dash off in pursuit of the next victory, nor throw a fit when experiencing a loss. Real Warrior ponders the next battle. Oh, Jesus. Whether or not you get the fight at full strength, whether or not luck smiles on you, none of that matters. Only results matter, and a loss is a loss. Your victory shines like a bright light. And right now, you and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. They're hard fought battles. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, and we need to give a new item um, to Galvantula. <laughs> Probably just go for the magnet this time. Okay, this one is Psychic, this one's next. Oh yeah, Mistake needs a new item too, don't they? Yeah. Citrus Berry was not that useful that time. I think I saved my last Citrus Berry for the fighting one. But I think that's gonna be the most brutal of the lot. I could just toss on like a Water Gem. I have two of these. Pretty much guarantees we kill some. Okay, this one, I think the strat this time is we Chandelure Sweep. I think Chandelure is faster than everything they have? Because there's bulky Psychic type Pokemon and none of them are that speedy. Not Sigilyph. Does Sigilyph have anything to worry about? Does it have Shadow Ball? Shadow Ball's the real thing we fear. Ice Beam, it's Ghost Fire. Okay, so Sigilyph just says Shadow Ball. Okay, so watch out for Shadow Ball and Sigilyph. Right. Should I just use this then? Is that safer? If I just Dragon Dance. What's the lead Pokemon here? It might just be safe for the Dragon Dance. Shannon and got the L also of Shadow Ball, yeah. Three of them have Shadow Ball. Shannon has Hypnosis. Okay, I mean, I can chance that. That's very low accuracy. The Sigilyph still has Ice Beam. Okay. Uh. Sigilyph is the real problem, this one. It could be a situation for Excadrill. Excadrill will resist everything. Yeah, this is an Excadrill that can count. Okay, Chandler and then Excadrill. That's what we do. Energy ball doesn't matter, it's neutral. Ugh, yeah, the Sigilyph is just the real trick tricky one. Does Sigilyph have Focus Blast? 
That's something I gotta worry about. I mean, that's not gonna hit. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think we just go Chandelure. This is Chandelure's battle. Okay, here we go. Who are you? How imprudent, impudent you are to disturb my sleep. You appear to possess a combination of strength and kindness. Very well. Make your best effort not to bore me with a yawn and do some battle. Clear? Okay, bulky psychic types. The battle. But we have stabbed super effective. We should just incinerate them. Yeah, if we can kill Rayuniclus in one go, we're good. We can definitely kill Masharna. Oh. Okay. Oh, all right. And let a shadow ball. Jesus Christ, Masharna. Gonna need that collab too. I think you're up. Caught at rock slide. It's psychic. You should resist this fine. This is what your calm nature comes in for. Uncomfy amount of damage. Oh god, okay, how much did that do? This is gonna be close. How much health was I on before that Ice Beam land? I'm on 74 now. It was about 130. Don't wanna check the tapes. I'm definitely in crit range, I'm fully aware of that. If I were to switch here, the question is, what do I switch to? I can't switch in Famine. I can't switch in Strife. Grief is too injured now for the fight. It'd have to be Mistake, yeah. I think Mistake can ma is maybe bulky enough to take two. I was at 138. Oh. I mean, I'd hope it's max min. I have a water jam aqua jet for this scenario. Okay. Why not? Well, actually, no, the water gem goes no matter what. Good job, mistake. Okay, I got to tell. I can't switch on this one because I think it might have Shadow Trap. So I gotta use Megahorn. I gotta hopefully kill it. <laughs> Calm mind. It's like Pogon that believe me, I'll never give up. Please land. Woo! I can't switch. It probably has shadow tag.
I think it gets Shadow Tag. Shadow Tag is hidden ability. But would an Aqua Jet kill it? Because we're in a lot of danger, even if we switch to something else. We're in so much danger. Did we see Frisk? I don't think we did. Oh! <laughs> the fear setting in. Okay, get out of that mistake. You need to live one fear. Thank God it's going for C key bolt. We resist that. Okay, and hit with the signal beam in return. That was a fucking close call. <laughs> You haven't faced all the members of the Elite Four yet, have you? Don't concern yourself about me. Go on ahead. Jesus. Every fight, like, we are so damn battered. Okay, yeah, this is the hardest one that's left last. Oh god, okay. The pro There's so many scary things about Marshall. Like, one of his Pokemon actually does have Sturdy as well. So we're not going to be able to even kill it in one hit, and we need to actually think about that. Marshall is the scariest one. I might have a cheeky peek as to what we're up against on this, because I think we actually really have to plan this one or we're fucked. Jesus, like, yeah, it's it's rough on all of them, basically. It's a sock that has sturdy. It's a sheer force can kill there as well, which is horrific. That's so bad. There's almost no way to get through this in a good HP standing for that can kill there. Because the Tron sock combo. The sock will guaranteed live, and I have to set up to get through them. Uh, we actually cannot use uh, Grief at all in this fight as well because every single Pokemon in this team has a rock type attack. Every single one. We also can't use Kalamitu because Kalamitu will take too much damage. This is a four Pokemon battle. The Hurricane Sweep. Grass resists fighting, doesn't it? No. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, no, it's poison. Right, now yeah, the hurricane sweep isn't happening. Oh, Sarah, I meant to put you down there. There you go. Ooh. I think the battle starts with a setup dragon dance, and the setup dragon dance is purpose is mainly to take out Thraw. Because I think we can do that. Throw. It's only going to take out one. And I think we just take that one that we get. Fear might be good in the sense that we can just Volt Switch a lot and hit him with Thunders and... But no, Stone Edge as well. Fear is in danger as well. Unfortunately as well, uh, two Pokemon also have Grass Knot, which means the Mistake is also in trouble on this fight. Like, this is, this is absolutely brutal. Mm. 
<sighs> A best bet is a situation where maybe I can set up on sock, but also break it sturdy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, two, th all, three of his Pokemon also have Retaliate. Do so you remember the second gym strat where they revenge kill? That makes it even worse. Jesus. Yeah, th th this is gonna be brutal. I, I don't see the path. To I don't know how we do this without incurring any losses. <laughs> the best time to set up with Dragon Dance is probably... Oh, the Saw coming in with Retaliate is so bad. Because I can't, I can't one-shot it. The only way I could live it is if I switch in the Chandelure, knowing that the Retaliate is coming, but it also has Stone Edge. Do I have a Focus Sash? I don't think I do. No. So there's no way to live that. Protect. Protect. Yeah, Protect is what we need here. We need to use Protect to avoid specifically the Retaliates. Okay, we don't need Shadow Claw anymore. We have two Protects on the team. Our main two Pokemon that are going to be able to fight here. <laughs> if I was to teach it the fear, uh, I mean, Sucker Punch... We're not going to be able to use it anymore here. It's, it's not going to do enough damage. Oh, maybe on the Sock though, but no, that's if something dies. Yeah, we need to get rid of Sucker Punch. We, we, we need Protect. The only saving grace with Chandelure is it is actually faster than some things on his team. It's faster than the Conkeldur, so if needs be, we can get revenge kill with it. And that's the situation where we have to use that. Famine kind of needs everything. <laughs> the Hurricane! The Hurricane could save us. If we just Hurricane sweep, we win. Yeah, Famine's gonna go protect us. Uh, the burn... It, it, as long as it's not on the first one, it's good. But also, the fact that if it, this is out means it's in incredible danger. It's, it's incredible danger. Okay, replace Shadow Ball for now. Here we replace Rock Slide for now, and we can reteach that after the fight. Okay, there is some slight justification, depending on how much damage we're on, right? When Sock comes out. We can break the Sturdy with the Rocky Helmet, potentially. Depends on the move it's using. Reef doesn't need Protect, it's immune to Retaliate. Protect is there in case we need it to just pivot or something on a Stone Edge. 
problem for grief is the rock to all the constant rock type attacks like the, the threat of that is so fierce okay I think this is the best we can do There's a very high possibility we lose someone here. We've lucked out in the last three fights. This one's really scary. I will sack a Pokemon if needs be here. Okay, this is it. Alright. Greetings, Challenger. My name is Marshall. In order to master the art of fighting, I'm training under my mentor, Alder. My mentor sees your potential as a trainer and is taking an interest in you. My intention to test you, take you to the limits of your strength. Kia. Kiai. Kiai? What's he saying? Battle cry! Okay, this is the scariest trainer we fought. Still Dragon Dance. Oh, that rivalry's gonna hurt me. Bulldoze is actually not that bad. The speed doesn't really factor into this fight. Dragon Claw. Not crit. Okay, it goes into sock. Okay, protect. Okay. Now, can we live a single hit? I think we can. And I think we have to go for it. It's crit range, we're always in crit range. There's nothing we can do there. There's no way to stay out of crit range for this fight. There's absolutely no way to avoid like crit range as we go through this fight. It, it, it's so damn dangerous. Okay, Dragon Claw. Oh, he's... Oh, that's really good. Come on, Strife! <laughs> okay, he's probably gonna heal. We can exhaust most of his full restores here. Dragon Dance now. There's no point. Because we have to break sturdy again. Dragon Claw. He's fucking going for it. Come on. Oh, come on, Strife. Okay, can Calder get out of there? Wait, use protect first. Okay, Vitaliate's gone. Okay, we <laughs> okay now. What's the plan? What's the plan? This is the scariest bit. This thing does have grass knot, but it doesn't have much special attack. It's probably relatively okay for me to go into mistake and try tank a hit or two. Mistake has the water gem, yeah? Yeah, I think this is actually like a really good use, the water gem, if we can just get a 
shitload of damage on this guy. Hammer him. Can a water gem surf kill? Probably not. Probably not. It's not in current range. Yeah, it's just a bit barely out. If I switch in Famine, I think I just prolong the fight. But Famine's not gonna tank that much better. Fence 106. It's gonna be about the same amount of damage, and Famine has less health. The fam We're gonna get in the same situation. I think we have to sacrifice Mistake and get the Water Gem Surf. Because that at least puts us in this position where we can then win. We don't have a choice, because anything else we send out is, is like, Hammer Arm dash Stone Edge dash Hammer Arm two hits dies. Potentially dies in one. It, it like, Whimsicott is probably just going to go down. It's not going to last much longer, even with the Giga Drain. Can't use Strife anymore. Yeah. Mistake, you served us so damn well. Been an honor. Oh! <laughs> it's been an honor. <laughs> he gave it his all. He did everything he could. We still got to finish the fight. Finish the job. Mian Shao is still scary because it actually has U-turn, which means that Famine is in trouble against it. Unfortunate. Everything's in trouble against this Mian Shao. It's fast as well. Go into fear for now. I have to go for Thunder because he might pull the store here as well. Okay, he didn't. Might find a Pokemon, so we'll use our last bit of strength. Okay, protect. Okay, now which is faster? Because it's important to determine if we can get in a Volt Switch here. Man Shao is really fucking fast. If I do a switch, there's nothing that can tank its attacks well. This can kill everything on my team. The best bet is to get out the Famine, even if something else dies. Because Famine can at least Giga Drain it down. Wait, 105 Miancho, 108 Calvantula. Is, oh, but we're all oh, on the same level. Maybe? Is Whimsicott faster? It 
If Whimsicott is faster, then we can Volt Switch Giga Drain. And that's probably our best bet. Come on. Get him, Whimsy. You can thank that. Okay, <laughs> the hurricane will end the match. But I don't think we need to go for that, because I think we're so faster we can just Giga Drain down from here. This is gonna hurt. No single strongest Pokemon solve this calculation. That's why it's difficult to keep winning. Or I think a heart that desires strength and strives to grow stronger is a precious ideal. That's why I respect you because you have these things. <sighs> now you've become the strongest trainer in this Pokemon League. The statue in the central chamber will take you to the champion's room. We, the Elite Four of Unova, are sworn to follow the champion's order. Be neutral. The rest is up to you. Mistake did so well. Did so well. That was always going to be the hardest battle, I think. In the Elite Four. Now we still got a bit further to go, though. Which is scary. Get rid of Protect. We need to relearn our moves. God, who's the oldest member on the team now? <laughs> Oh no, Kalamatu, of course. Of course. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, how are we doing? Um, I still need... Okay, I need to pop something on that. I need to pop something there, too. I'm gonna change those. Are all in order. Uh, what do we put pop on Haxorus? Maybe a bulldoze? Trying to find it. Just using what we've got. Okay. And then I need something else. I'll pop Thunder Wave on Galvantula for now. Could have its use. Mistake. I'm so sad. It did so well. Okay, probably keep the Rocky Helmet maybe on Strike for now. Maybe just keep that there. Might help. I think there's more Pokemon with Sturdy coming up. Okay. This 
It's just one trainer left. No spoilers. Here we are. It's over. Never again will Pokemon be made to suffer or be held captive by humans. It's all thanks to my friend Zekrom, who may have the title of champion. You can't stop me with just a title. The soft heart has left you weak. Years ago, you lost your Pokemon, your partner, to sickness. In order to forget the pain in your heart, you wandered Unova. Who knows how long it's been since you've had the fight with your full strength. I actually kind of liked about that about you, though. As a trainer who far outmatches the champion, I shall issue an order across Unova. Trainers of the world, free your Pokemon. I beg you, separating people from Pokemon, do anything but that. You and I both put our beliefs on the line and fought with all our strength, and I won. Do not say another word. I've been waiting. In the future I envisioned you obtained a stone, and indeed you have. That light stone, Zekrom is responding to it. Stop. This is not a suitable place for the legendary dragons. From the ground rise up, the castle of Team Plasma. Surround the Pokemon League. We're not done yet. The real question is, how do they build this? Like, have it spring-loaded. just appeared as Team Plasma's castle. The king's words will resound from the heights to all below. You must come to the castle as well. Everything will be decided there. Where the Pokemon will be liberated from people. Where the Pokemon and people will live together. We shall see whose belief is stronger. And a result will change the world. Mr. Alder, you're a wreck. It's not fitting for the champion. You did well to get this far. Somehow I beat the Pokemon League, but it wasn't easy. Congratulate you. I became stronger because I understood what I want to do. Failure. Tell end this. Some people grow stronger by being with Pokemon. The Pokemon and I are proof. Together we learned and became stronger. I lost. I should have been able to demonstrate the bond between me and my Pokemon. It would have shown the, that brat the worthlessness of his outrageous dreams. His convictions were the real thing. Be careful. The ones who change the world are always the ones who pursue their dreams. Failure. I ask this of you. Even if Pokemon and people are separated, nothing good will come of it. Please let them know that. Right, we have to gear up for what's gonna happen soon as well. Need to get rid of the XP share. We need an item on Excadrill. Probably the Expert Belt. Yeah, here we go. There's, yeah, there's, there's someone who keeps saying rare candies. We don't have any. <laughs> that guy's been there for like 10 minutes. keep glancing over and seeing it. Those in the core of fate are preserved, and those who rebel against fate perish. When the way is forgotten, duty and justice appear. One can lose the forest for the trees. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, that is a second mistake. Superior men understand what is right. Inferior men understand what will sell. 
There are not two suns in the sky, nor two sovereigns over the people. Well, if anything should happen to our king, it will be disastrous. But Rune gets us his perfect plan. Our Lord N will be disappointed, but the six of us shall defeat you here. Can you manage that? Still standing, are you, failure? You, your drift fails. Ain't just me. So sorry. Not only are we stronger than you, but there are a lot of us. Cursed gym leaders. Ignoring Team Plasma. That would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do. Bianca asked us to come too. I'm fine, don't worry. No need to worry. Hold up the lightstone, please proceed. The gym light leaders are useful in this game! They're doing something! Most of them. I'm missing a few. My Lord N proved that he is stronger than a champion. Now many trainers will admire our Lord N and follow his orders. In other words, they will do whatever Team Plasma says. We Team Plasma were using the Pokemon we took from others all along. Poor little Pokemon. They had to do what we told them. Even as a kid, I always thought you could like go in that chimney. I don't know why. Is it, I think it's like they use the same model. Come. In this castle, you may rest your Pokemon and access your PC. Fear not. First, have your Pokemon rest in that room. When they are healed as our Lord ends wish to be moved to the innermost part of this castle. I am Antia. Trainer, before, before you go to confront my Lord End, please take a moment to rest. Now good, both you and your Pokemon regained energy. Trainers bow to practice their skills and to grow in experience, but never to hurt their Pokemon. My Lord N has realized this deep down in his heart, but he has spent too much painful time here in this castle to admit it. I am Concordia. I give peace and comfort to N. N has been separated from people since he was young. He was brought up with Pokemon. Pokemon that were betrayed, mistreated, and hurt by bad people. Gets is deliberately brought only those poor Pokemon closer to N. N was touched by their plight and started pursuing his ideals, thinking only of Pokemon. N's heart is pure and innocent. There is nothing more terrifying, beautiful and terrifying than innocence. Uh, where's the PC? You don't see the PC? <laughs> Next room. We've been secretly building this castle for several years by overworking Pokémon that we took away, without being noticed by anyone. Everything is going perfectly as Getsus of the Seventh Sage has calculated and planned. He's been thinking about how he can manipulate people's hearts as he wishes. A sweet a max potion! Okay, not this room eater. Is it upstairs? Where's the max? Where's the PC? Next floor, okay. Yeah, here we go. A young wanderer, are you surprised? This castle is the hub of Team Plasma's no gets of the Seven Sages scientific capability. Manifestation of knowledge. Now we can even infiltrate the Pokemon storage system inside every trainer's PC. If our king wills it, we can steal every Pokemon stored in a PC box and release them all. No! My shiny Dialga! <laughs> oh, mistake. Okay, we need something else we can use. Uh, Darmanitan is a close enough level. Gamer would be close as well, but they're not fully evolved, so... Probably a bad idea. It's 
times like this I wish I had shit face. What about the level 100 Pikachu? Maybe. Thunderous? No, we traded for that one. We can't use that. Of course, Zerua. We did catch Cobalion. <laughs> we could use that. We did catch it. It's a close enough level to the others that we might be able to actually use it in the fight. You know, it's probably our best bet. We can't really rely on it because it's just severely under level compared to the others, but it's something. It's gonna have to fill the spot because everything else everything else is just a terrible option. Take it for now. Uh, we do have one unfortunate encounter before any of that. Uh, we have to capture Reshiram. Spoilers. So, this is probably uh, what would be our best tank in case we don't catch it with the quick ball. Probably not Famine. Probably not Strife. We have the Master Ball, so if this goes south, I think we have to use it. It's Quick Ball or Bust. It's part of his plan to take Pokemon away from their people. My Lord Ann entrusted some Pokemon to me. It's been, it's, I've been spending time with them, and I don't think I want to let them go. I may not be cut out for Team Plasma. I've given you like a few items in case you need them. A few more floors. This Pokemon has become attached to me. As far as I'm concerned, a Pokemon is just a simple tool. I don't understand. I don't need time to catch Pokemon anymore. Oh, thanks. You go to the Pokemon League. Oh, does he teleport you out? If you if you need to kind of go back, I think he might. Go back for shit face. At, like, we're at the climax of the game. <laughs> Quickly! We gotta get him! Okay, you know what? Let's fucking go. I'll be able to get back in here, yeah? I don't have to fight the Elite Four again, do I? I will be able to get back in here. You'll be able to get back in. Go! Yeah, okay. Thank God for the Team Plasma teleportation system. Of course, we don't need to use Cabalion. Because we've got- we've had the teammate in training. This entire game. Get my hoverboard real quick. Jesus, things are getting intense at the Pokemon League. Wouldn't like to be there right now.
been a long time. Take back. <laughs> He's level 49. <laughs> Oh, Miss App's still on vacation. Miss App's still on vacation. What are you doing, Pat Rat? Oh, Pat Rat also had the worst possible nature, I think. Modest. <laughs> Pat and Pat's mean look hyper fang. You can finally name him. You can get him ready. So, there's some trouble in the Pokemon League. Someone better do something about that. Finally made it. I did say I'd get here before the, the, the Nuzlocke was over. You know, so we made we made it just in time. Is this even gonna be allowed? Apparently, that name does fit it better. Shit face. Of course, I know people are anxious about his well-being, so we'll give him an Aviolite. Okay, we're ready now. And there's nothing else we're going to do. The luck shit face. Rusty hoverboard. Okay, I think this is it. This is the final floor. The battle between you and our Lord N will reveal whether our Lord N is an ideal hero. It'll also reveal how you feel about protecting the current world. People live with Pokemon. That room was the world that was provided to our Lord N. Don't feel anything even when I go into the room, but you may feel something. So this is N's bedroom. Set of trains and tracks has it been played with recently? Basketball it looks like it's been used a lot. It says Harmonia on it. Skateboard is resting on a pile of wheels. Half pipe for skateboards. There's Pokemon scratch marks on it here and there. This toy box contains pieces of a train set. Oh, rare candy. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, like we could use that uh, to get Excadrill to level 48. Toy box is full of new toys. This panel has a dart stuck in it. Dart panel would have printed geometric pattern.
Yeah, so uh, N, N was pretty, pretty isolated. Might be able to tell. Somewhere far from here, Team Galactic and Team Rocket drew too much attention to themselves. That's why their plans were thwarted. They can hardly say that, considering they're actually going out and, like, preaching in the streets, you know? I'm gonna talk about drawing attention. If we use force to take Pokémon away from people, the people will rebel. But if we manipulate their hearts, people will release Pokémon voluntarily. A trainer who loved Pokémon until yesterday will release Pokémon today. Tomorrow, another trainer will let Pokémon go. Okay, this is it. Don't think there's anything more over here. Alright, this is this is the end. Our final team. DMs for them. Ash Rash. Power. That's pretty good. That'll give us some extra coverage. Good call, chat. Um, rest. That feels like pretty in character for him. No, that's, I mean, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Cracked, uh, I mean, he's, he's won all your hearts. Substitute, yeah, he's a bit of a villain. He's a bit of a villain. There we go, he's ready for battle now. Here we go! Oh! Welcome, holder of the Lightstone. The castle that appeared as if it were enveloping the Pokemon Lake is a symbol. It means Unova will change. The king of this castle is the strongest trainer in the world. He's accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He's defeated the champion. Add it to all that. His heart burns with the desire to improve the world. That's not what makes a hero. What more do you need? Now the stage is set, we can seize people's minds and hearts. We can bring into being the world that I know to Team Plasma. Desires more easily than you can imagine. We and only we will use Pokemon. We shall rule the powerless populace. I've been waiting so long for this. I've kept my silence so no one could piece together what I planned. Now those painful days are at an end. Go onward. Discover whether you have what it takes to be a hero. All my machinations have come into play. What I desire is a world for Pokemon and Pokemon alone. It will separate Pokemon from people so Pokemon can regain their original power. It's time to settle this once and for all. My determination is absolute. I will prove the value of my beliefs, even if it means my Pokemon friends get hurt. Since you come this far, I believe you are equally determined. If that's so, prove it to me. Show me the depth of your determination.
came all this way to battle me, but Reshiram is not responding. You haven't yet been recognized as the hero, have you? I'm disappointed. I actually kind of liked you a little. Through our many battles, I got the feeling you might be a trainer who truly cares for Pokemon. But I was kidding myself. The idea of trainers getting to know each other through battles is ridiculous. You have two options. Challenge me to a fight you can't win, or leave this place and watch, watch the birth of a new world where Pokemon are free of people. Zekrom, come to me! Accommodated for their own wall, they knew this was gonna happen. It just that they, you guys spent a while constructing this, there's probably no need to destroy it. The lightstone is trembling inside the bag. Your lightstone is. I mean, Reshiram is. Now it's my turn. The lightstone draws in the ore of the surroundings and converts it into a powerful force, which is now being released. We get one, two. Kinda. <laughs> the castle's in. Not holding up too well. It's like set on fire now. <laughs> Pressure arm's really fucking cool. Zekrom and Reshiram, they were, they were once one life, one Pokemon, complete opposites yet the same. Zekrom and Reshiram are a Pokemon that appear before the hero they recognize. I see, you really are a hero too. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what that Pokemon is saying to you. I want to battle with you, try to make me your friend and ally. It plans to test you to see if you are really pursuing truth. I also am curious to see how powerful you are. Now catch Reshiram and make it your ally. Are you ready? <laughs> Level 50 Reshiram. Get him, shit face! <laughs> okay. Go, oh, Pokemon! <laughs> Pretty straightforward. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Apologies. Nice! Shitface, you did it! Good job! This Pokemon appears in Legends. It sends flames into the air from its tail, burning up everything around it. Okay, uh, what do we call it? This one needs to be a cute name. I'm gonna call it Whoopsie. Add Reshiram to your party from the box. 
Ooh, that's a loaded question. <laughs> it does mean shit face lives. <laughs> I don't need a rush ram. I've got everything I need. Hold on, your Pokemon are hurt. There's no triumph to be gained in battling a weakened opponent. Now I will create the future I desire. I shall sweep you before me. Here we go. Hit him with the hidden, your hidden power. Shit face, no! Our most powerful Pokemon was defeated. Okay, now here we go, real battle. This is probably the best thing for me to set up on. It has access to electric and dragon. I think it has a normal type attack on top of that. I don't think it has fighting. This is our best chance. Come on, Calamitu. And one EQ should do it. Giga Impact. Okay, we resist it. I kind of hope this doesn't kill him now so I can set up more. No, nah, there's no way. Okay, cling clang second. Oh, no! I don't believe it. That's a Zorak. That's a Zorak, that's why I did that. Okay, Zorak, Zorak. Um Probably go into fear, signal beam. Signal beam should kill. And we are faster. Holy shit, that did not... Okay, this might keep us alive. This thing is flamethrower. Over the thunder. Oh! Come on! No! It's a fucking slaughter. Set up with Haxorus, this is probably the best opportunity we're going to have. Dragon Dance. Ok, 
Okay, just time for one. It's gonna really hurt us otherwise. Quick break. Vanillax. Oh, good god, the rivalry. Switch. It's too dangerous. We have to switch. Rivalry is gonna fuck us over. I could. I'm calling it. Come on! Oh. Fire Blaster, come on! Grief, you're doing amazing! Caracosta! Come on, Famine! Oh, come on, Famine! Question, do I set up a Tailwind? There's an Archaeops after this. I think it has Sturdy anyway, so we're not gonna one-shot kill it. I think we go for the Tailwind. Come on, Whimsy. Okay, Giga Drain it off. Oh, we're gonna be injured going into the next one. No! <laughs> oh no! Stone Edge Miss Dragon Dance. I need the Dragon Dance to outspeed Archaeops. Best bet. It's not over yet. Yes! Oh, Tailwind's gone, but that's okay. We have Dragon Dance now. We just need to get it into the Fetus range and we're safe. In theory. Yeah, we should be fine now. Thanks, Rocky Helmet, I guess. I'll take it. Okay, Kling Clang is the last one. Brick break for the kill. Jesus. Everything's ruined. The ideals I held, the dream po dreams I shared with Pokemon. Zekrom and I were beaten. Your truth, your feelings, they were stronger than mine, it seems. Reshiram and Zekrom. Each of them choosing a different hero. Is that even possible? Two heroes living at the same time. One that pursues truth and one that pursues ideals. Good. Could they both be right? I don't know. Not by rejecting different ideas, but by accepting different ideas that the world creates a chemical reaction. This is truly the formula for changing the world.
After all of that, you think you're still worthy of sharing the name of Harmonia with me, you good-for-nothing boy. To start with, I spurred Anne into pursuing ideals. The reason we reawakened the legendary Pokémon now was to give my Team Plasma more power. Power to control the fearful masses. That at least was well done. After saying you would put your belief on the line in battle to see which one chosen by the chosen by the legendary Pokémon was the true hero. You lost to an ordinary trainer. There is such a thing as being too stupid. Add it up and you are nothing more than a warped, defective boy who knows nothing but Pokémon. Well, here. I would I would never would have thought the legendary Pokémon would choose a trainer like you. It caught me completely off guard. But this doesn't change my goal. My plans have not been disturbed. In order to rule this world utterly, in order to manipulate the hearts of people who know nothing, I will have N be the king of Team Plasma. But for that to work, you, since you know the truth, you must be eliminated. Rule the world. Wasn't Team Plasma's goal to liberate Pokémon? That was just a convenient lie I needed to create, Team Plasma. Use your head. What's to be gained from letting go of useful things like Pokémon? Certainly, manipulating Pokémon helps people expand their possibilities. That much I can agree with. So it naturally falls that only I should be able to use Pokémon. You fool, that's a ridiculous idea. You can say whatever you want. Pokémon, even if it's just revered as a deity, is still just a Pokémon. Failure. So what if it chose you? That doesn't mean you're a threat. Come on, now you'll face me in battle! I can't wait to see the look in your face when you've lost all hope. Failure. I won't allow anyone to stop me, no matter who does what. And this is the hard part. Okay, so, these Pokemon are technically dead. We do get a heal for this fight, but legally I'm only allowed to use two Pokemon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw Pokeballs at it until it kills Shitface. This thing can't set up on us, can it? I don't think it can. Yeah, so what we're gonna do to get the fair switch in I'm simply going to spam Pokeballs, and then I'm going to try and beat Getsus with two Pokemon. Wish me luck. Don't be a thief is quite ironic, given the circumstances. Toxic is the problem. I have nothing for getting around Toxic. I can't set up on this Pokemon. Okay. I need to really think about how we're doing this one. Kofagrigus is our best bet right- well, sorry, uh, not Kofagrigus. Uh, Chandelure is our best bet right now just to KO with Shadow Ball so that we can then set up with Strife on something else. I think the game plan is to use Chandelure until it dies, and then we drag him down to sweep before Hydreigon comes out. I think that's the only way we get through this. Mummy does remove rivalry, but the Toxic is the problem. If we set up now, we eventually die just by course of the battle. And we need uh, we need a set up Dragon Dance for Hydreigon specifically. Grief will probably die here. But we have no alternative. This showed one shot at least. I need to find the switch.
Will O Wisp. This is the switch. Will O Wisp on this. Come on. It's probably gonna kill us. It's expecting exactly that kind of move. Okay. I can keep grief alive, but the prop if I keep grief alive, it's gonna get more dangerous. But I, th I think I chance it. I need that free switch specifically out to Haxorus. If I send in Haxorus now, it has to endure two hits during setup. I don't think we get a better chance to set up. Maybe on Electros. He has an Electros. Is there a better thing to set up on? Ufalot has quite high attack. Electros is Dragon Claw, yeah, that actually is a good note. Okay. Okay, I gotta go for it now. This is dangerous. Aft. Dragon Dance. Head charge, this is the one I'm scared of. Okay, 126. Oy. Did 51 damage. I think I get a second Dragon Dance. If I get a second Dragon Dance, I can one-shot kill everything. I hope he uses Earthquake. Come on. Head Charge can miss too. Don't crit. You ready to see the riskiest sweep of your lives? That's Bufalon. Oh my god, thank god we did that when we did it. Tigregon, that's the hardest one. Says Mio Toad, we gotta do as much damage as we possibly can, come on. Rivalry's gonna kick in. It's up the grief. Oh God. This thing a sucker punch, doesn't it? Does not. I need to land a fire blast.
Come on, Grief. This is his last Pokemon. He has crunch, does it? If it has crunch, it's better for me to use the burn. If it has crunch, it's better for me to use the burn because it will get a little bit of chip damage. And then I have to land a fire blast. Yeah, I have to burn it. No more damage. Land a fire blast. Oh. <laughs> Don't have time for this. Land a fire blast. Oh, we pulled it off. Jesus! Jesus Christ! What? I've created Team Blast with my own hands. I'm absolutely perfect. I am perfection. I have the perfect rule of a perfect new world. Now, N, you still think Pokemon and people should be separated? Become the hero and obtain the legendary Pokemon myself. I prepared someone for that purpose, and he's nothing more than a freak without a human heart. You think you're going to get through to a warped person like that? Alder, it's a waste of, of valuable time listening to him ramble on. He's the one without a human heart. You're right, he's truly pitiful. And I'm sure you have much to think about. I know you're not pursuing ideals because of Getz's manipulation, but because your heart was really inspired. That is why you're able to meet the legendary Pokemon. But I have no right to be the hero. Is that so? What you and the legendary Pokemon are, do are going to do from now on. That's important, wouldn't you say? Acting like you understand. Up till now, we've been fighting each other over our beliefs. Yet despite that, why? And even if we don't understand each other, that's not a reason to reject each other. There are two sides to any argument. Is there one point of view that has all the answers? Give it some thought. Captain Wild, thank you for the thousand bits. I want to thought, talk to you about some. It's about when I first met you in your Cumulia town. I was shocked when I heard what your Pokemon was saying. I was shocked because that Pokemon said it liked you. It said it wanted to be with you. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't believe there were Pokemon that liked people. Because up until that moment, I'd never known a Pokemon like that. The longer my journey continued, the more unsure I became. All I kept meeting were Pokemon and people. Communicate with one another and help one another. That was why I needed to confirm my beliefs by battling with you. I wanted to confront you hero to hero. I needed that more than anything. There's no way a person like me, someone who, only, who understands only Pokemon. No, actually, I didn't understand them either. No way could I measure up to you. And you had met so many Pokemon and were surrounded by friends. The champion has forgiven me, and... What I should do now is something I'll, ha I'll have to decide for myself. Failure. You said you have a dream. That dream. Make it come true. Make your wonderful dream a reality, and it will become your truth. Failure, if anyone can, it's you. Well then.
Farewell. We did it! <laughs> By the skin of our fucking teeth! <laughs> And we didn't use Reshiram. We didn't use it. We pulled it off. <sighs> James, thanks for the five gift subs. All we're left with is grief. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, that... That is the Pokemon Black and White Nuzlocke. We're going to be checking out some post-game tomorrow. But for the Nuzlocke component, that's where we stop. Um, it would take probably like weeks upon weeks of time to be able to train everything up again if we wanted to do the post-game stuff. And the final po post-game encounter, like spoiler alert, it, you can do it in black and white too. Okay? You can do it in black and white too. We're still going to have a look at what that is. We'll be doing that tomorrow. But we've completed the Nuzlocke, as far as I'm concerned. And one, thank you for the five gift subs. Stell, thank you for the five gift subs. James, thank you as well. Hero, thank you for the three. Josh, thanks for a thousand bits. That was a hell of a finale, I think. Yeah, I think we leave it. I think we leave the Nuzlocke portion there, because basically for the final fight, like the final final post game fight, uh, we need a level 80 team, and we need a full team. And unless we literally use le like every legendary that's at our arsenal, like it's gonna take forever. So yeah, we stop it there. We stop it there. Uh, but we will do that post game in Nuzlocke form. In black and white, too. Okay. Wow, thank you for the 10 gift subs. There goes Anna and Zekrom. Chandelure contains the souls of the dead. <laughs> oh, Chandelure's gonna like tend to the graveyard. Of all our fallen friends. We live on with grief. We need to get to a Pokemon Center. Hang on. Welcome home, failure. <laughs> Actually, Mom, I succeeded. Seems like you've been through many amazing things, is it not so? Incredible, really. Amazing, absolutely. Meeting these two Pokemon of legend. Ah, ah, uh, this is... Oh, I still wear my disguise. Pardon. Or rather... Let me introduce myself. The best character in all the Pokemon. I'm a Globetrotten Elite of the International Police. My name? Ah, no. I shall inform you of my code name only. My code name, it is Looker. It is how I am called. Behind the scenes in this region of Unova, an organization called Team Plasma conspires. This I have heard, and therefore to this region I must come, but. Thanks to the gym leaders, and to you, yes, Team Plasma's castle has fallen. And the members, they have gone upon their separate ways. This is what I hear, most certainly. But, however, however, but, the ones known only as the Seven Sages, still, they hide themselves in the Unova region. And so, in the end, it explains why I must ask this of you, trainer of amazing skill. Travel the Unova region and search it up and search it down for the Seven Sages. Alder, the champion of renown, recommend it you to my notice. Are you willing to help me? Absolutely, Looker. <laughs> Excellent, I thank you. Now I feel as if I, I have perhaps a million people on my side. Permit me to give this into your hands. He also gives you... 
the super rod in this game. We've had no fishing rod up until this point. This is how they kind of just put it in at the end. That's a super rod, right? Yes, correct. It is certainly a super rod. Are we talking about Team Plasma 7 Sages? What does this have to do with looking for those people? I see. It is truly failure's mama to ask so. What a magnificent question. I admire it. It is my pleasure to answer. Absolutely nothing. I see. Yes, I shall provide the ex explanation of this super rod. First, face the water and employ the rod. Second, concentrate your focal point. When it occurs that these Pokemon bite, exclamation point will indicate. Immediately reel in. For the rest failure, I depend upon you. Well, that was weird. <laughs> From the international police are kind of unique, aren't they? Oh, no worries. I think you should just do what you want to do. Practically a grown-up now. Hey, failure. Is, is Looker true talking to you? I'm sorry. By the time I went to get the Striaden City uh, gym leaders, everything was over. That's the case. I let Getsis escape when the Shadow Triad created an opening. Getsis, the Shadow Triad. I'll tell you later about what happened in the castle. More important to ask what you plan to do now, Bianca. Lava, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you very much. Five thanks again. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go to Black City. That's the city on the other side of Route 16 when you leave from Nimbasa City. Hmm. If you go that way, you might be able to meet all sorts of Pokemon you've never seen before. Get some contact soon, don't worry. Oh, well, this is nice timing. I see you're all here. Just a moment ago, I got some National Pokedex data from an acquaintance. Since you're here, let's upgrade your Pokedex with the National Pokedex data. I'm sure you'll be visiting a wider range of places. Naturally, that means you'll be encountering more Pokemon. Let me see your Pokedex for a sec. There you go, Bianca. Mix up as Sharon. And last but not least. We get National Mode. You can now switch your Pokedex into the National Mode Pokedex. Completing the National Pokedex will surely be a big challenge. Take your time, enjoy yourselves, and meet lots of Pokemon. Wow, the National Pokedex. Looks like there are tons of Pokemon I don't know yet. If I want to go show Mom and Dad my Pokedex, I gotta go. Let's meet again somewhere, okay? Oh, Bianca's as impetuous as ever, no matter what is going on. I think I'll travel all the way around Unova, starting at Route 1 again. I'm sure I'll discover lots of new things. We'll be all encountered with seven sages along the way. Failure if we spy each other along the way. Let's battle again, okay? Okay, let me quickly get to Accumula Town. We got one more thing to do. Hang on. Up in the Pokemon Center. Stop off here. Oh. Oh, you get wallpapers. That's right, when you beat the Pokemon League in this game. Oh, uh, give it up one more time. For the Fallen. The sole survivor was grief. <laughs> Hang on, it's okay, we can still... We still have our trusty hoverboard. And you know, there's one other friend we still have that we can get back in the team. Survivor's Guild Arc incoming. <laughs> it came down to rivalry. Like that, that was that was incredible. Like I, I just in that final battle, it was insane, and you could see the amount of damage that was just being like neglected because of the rivalry ability. 
It's definitely like the most dramatic finish I think we could have got. Take back. We still have a mishap. He's still with us, he, he retired. But he's still here to cheer us on. And we, of course, we have our hoverboard. Emotional support Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, gr grief's gonna need it. Grief's gonna need it. Oh my god. Yeah, we still we still have the legendaries in that. But yeah, that's the Nuzlocke done. The Nuzlocke is over. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming by the stream today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, starting from tomorrow's stream, we're going to be taking a look at a lot of the post-game content. Um, so we have the Seven Sages, which are now at large in the Unova region. Uh, from the moment you get the National Pokedex, uh, all the Pokemon in every route in the game is basically reworked. There's also wild Pokemon outbreaks. Um, Bianca mentioned Black City. Uh, there's a version exclusive zone in each game. It's Black City and White Forest. We're going to check out those. There's a few more legendaries that we have to hunt. Uh, we'll be doing all that from tomorrow. And we're going to be off Nuzlocke terms from that point on. Got to ch chase down Tornadus as well. Yeah. Yeah, the Nuzlocke is over. I think that's the best point to leave it. Because it would basically be one fight at the end that would take, like, two months, probably, to grind for, considering everything's dead. <laughs> you know? So I think at this point, I just want to show off the rest of the content in the game. And I'll, I'll use some of the uh, legendary Pokemon we've had sitting in the box, just so we can get to some bits of that content. Shiny Dialga is finally going to get his time in the spotlight. <laughs> yeah, give it up for the final team plus a hoverboard. <laughs> God almighty. Thank you so much for coming by tonight, folks. Thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to the mods as ever for being on hand. What's your opinion on Oshawott now? Shit tier Pokemon. Couldn't even survive the challenge. Like, God almighty, you know, I should have just tr stuck to my guts. He was having a bit of a redemption act there, but... No, I knew right all along. The worst starter ever made. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> he's alright. Is there a stream tomorrow? Yeah, we'll be streaming at 7 again tomorrow. We're going to be checking out post-game content. It's going to just be like a lot of exploring just to show off a lot of the regions. I just want to get it in because I love this game. We're just going to check out all its features. It's going to be like a drive-through. We're going to be like probably skipping some of the trainers even as we go. Just to get the last little bits of content in. Because uh, Black and White 2 is the one that we're really going to sink our teeth in. And that's when we like complete fucking everything. Because uh, Black and White 2, if you do everything, actually has a very tangible reward. One of the coolest rewards in any Pokemon game. Uh, which we are going to do when we eventually get to that game. God, what a slaughter to end it on, though. I, I, even when I played that game casually my first time, right? And this is why I was so insistent on level 50. The first time I played it, I beat N with one Pokemon left. And then I beat Getsus with three. And I, 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 the team I had then, it was like a Victini, a Zorark, a Haxorus, an Electros, an Archaeops, and a Caracosta. Like, it's just a hard fight. 
It's a hard fight, and like we didn't actually, because yeah, I know some people were kind of concerned as we were going through the playthrough, like he's over leveled, you know, he's too strong. But like, no, we really weren't. We really weren't. Like you have to bear the larger picture in mind when you actually get to that end bit and how actually difficult it is. We had like the perfect progression for it, honestly. Like, our Pokemon were lower levels than Getz's has actually come the end. You know, so I don't I don't think that's a fair critique just considering how hard this game actually gets and we didn't actually over level and we didn't even use the fucking rush ram in the end, you know. I know some folks got a bit antsy about the Victini business, but like we didn't even use Victini in like any major fights ultimately as well. It didn't gain a single level. Uh and that was to try keep it challenging. The, bi the business about with Victini was just we needed insurance, because if we, like, lost terribly in that gym and I didn't want to use the fucking monkey, we needed a backup plan, and that was Victini. Grief is the MVP. Grief did so good. Okay, let me see who's streaming. Let me see whose car I can leave you in. Oh, okay. Germ is playing one of my favorite games of all time. Um, Steve Jackson's Sorcery is like a game book series. Where uh, do people remember like those like fight and fantasy game books from back in the day? People remember those where it's like, you, uh, it's like if you want to use your sword, turn the page 137. Other otherwise, we want to use magic, turn to 40. Uh, well, Steve Jackson's Sorcery is a video game where they basically adopted the original books that Steve Jackson wrote way back in the day. We did a complete playthrough of it uh, about a few years back. I think it was two years back. Um, and Germ is doing a second playthrough of it right now. He's done a first playthrough of this many, many years ago, and it's wonderful. And I cannot recommend those games enough. They are so damn good. Uh, so I'm going to leave you in Germ's care. Go say hey. And do, do stick around. Like Honestly, they are such wonderful, wonderful game books. I can't recommend them enough, and like the video game version of them has like so much depth and new shit that couldn't possibly be represented in the physical books. It's wonderful games. Yeah, thanks for coming, folks. I'll see y'all tomorrow with the post game. Have a good night.